How's everybody doing? Um, yeah, you know, I thought the beginning to Raw last night was good. I didn't really see everything because I was getting ready to go to work, although I'm not at work right now, so there you go. We are live with the... Um, we are live with the, the stream, the afternoon stream that people wanted. And I'm bringing it to you uh, as long as possible today. We will be going for a marathon today. It is my daughter's birthday, so I will be leaving at certain points. Probably. But we'll see how long we go here. I don't know. we got lots of wrestling news. We'll have open phone lines at some point. And uh, we'll have the donos on. I didn't go to work today. I mean, it's snowing out, but that's not the reason. <clears throat> so we'll be live with for a while here with lots of things. So uh, come hang out and uh, leave likes, leave comments, do whatever you like in the chat. I thought Raw opened well, though. I really did. I, I really thought I thought Raw opened well. So it was nice. It is snowing really crazily outside. Um, I should be at work, but I have no gas money, so I'm not at work. That's right. I'd also like, uh, so here I am at home. And since I have no gas money to get to work, to make money at work, well, I better go live and, uh, do the best I can on YouTube, you know? So here I am. If you're wondering why I'm live on a Tuesday, uh, that's why I'm live on a Tuesday. Colonel Stutters is a member, and he's a beast, and um, happy birthday. Yeah, thank you, Colonel Stutters. I really appreciate that. You know what I mean? Love it. Appreciate it. How you doing, man? We'll be going live as long as possible today, baby, because um, I didn't go to work because I got no gas money. By the way, anybody who was uh, anybody who was really working, like or was was whatever, would never admit that. But I do. I don't mind admitting the reality. You know, I don't mind admitting the reality. Some other people would hide that. They'd be like, "Oh, you know, I'm live. I'm not going to explain what's going on." No, fuck it, bro. I'm live because I'm out of gas money, so I'm working a little bit from home, and I'm also. Uh, Doing this stream here tonight. So what's going on, chat? Zombie Seth got injured. Yeah, so Seth was limping afterwards. This were, this is very similar to when... Um, now, we just lost a major player. Um, we lost... Well, we lost an NXT female. What's her... God, what's her name? Somebody in the chat will come up with it. But she tore her goddamn ACL, and that's what I was worried about. I'm like, oh, no... Not another ACL tear, <clears throat> tear because when someone's limping, it's like, oh no. And some people I, I saw in the chat and other places, like, oh, they're just, you know, Seth Rollins or rather Cody Rhodes and CM Punk in the ring together. Like they're just throwing everything at the wall. And, and maybe that maybe they're they're throwing things at the at the wall and they're trying to position stuff. But I, you know, I I think it's smart to to throw people in the ring together and, and mess around with that and see. You know, what type of ratings you get? Cora Jade, thank you. Who was the first one that got it? Let's give credit to Colonel Stutters. Colonel Stutters, thank you, man. Yeah, I mean, I think it's good to to throw these people out there because they're, they're probably putting them in the ring, advertising it on the show and prior to the show. Uh, so they're trying to sell the next week's show in some way, even if that's just these two people will be fa talking to each other. You know, and then they're going to figure out what rating that draws, and then they're going to kind of know. They're going to be like, wow, okay, people do really like that. They, these guys should work together in the future because that rating exploded. You know, or maybe the rating didn't do well at all, and they're like, wow, the two big names facing each other, and that didn't even, <clears throat> you know, do much. I mean, it's hard to judge ratings fully, especially the other night when football was going on like it was. I mean, that was... It's going to be an interesting ratings day today or tomorrow whenever we get the the WWE ratings come in because it's going to be very 
bizarre, you know, whether w- what happens. I appreciate you guys being here with us today in the afternoon. I'm live on a Tuesday, which is weird. Um, I will be live probably tomorrow, potentially, because it's Wednesday. I'm, I'm always live Wednesday afternoons. Unless something is going on, I'm live Wednesday afternoons. Uh, but like I said, today I am live on a Tuesday. Didn't have enough gas money to go driving around and do the sales thing today. Ran out of gas money. So I am here holding a JCS Marathon Telethon. Streamlabs.com slash Evil Spectrum 11111. Uh, if you want to donate to the stream, we are trying to raise the money for the show, for the gas. For the Joe, uh, so five bucks, two bucks, ten bucks, whatever you want to support the show. I'll be going as long as possible. Although it is my daughter's birthday, so at some point I will be, you know, jumping off to see her and to do things. It's snowing out like crazy, so that's going on as well. But we'll be going, you know, as long as I can and off and on as much as I can today. Really putting in the work. If I can't make it there, I'm going to do this show. So the that's the good thing for everybody. Mysterious Black Cora Jade. Yeah. So Cora Jade's out eight, nine, ten months. That sucks. That sucks. Arushin. Brian, how you doing, Brian? Uh, MWM times two. He had Cora Jade allied. What up, ghetto god? A lot of OGs. Uh, will I be live tonight for Rage? Yes. I will be live tonight as planned for Rage. Um, probably... I don't know how what I don't know exactly when I'll start tonight, but I will be live at some point, probably nine or ten. I'm guessing nine or ten tonight. Not sure exactly. Philly is a major wrestling market though, and the Eagles game also being on could be a hit. Yeah. The Eagles were shot. Dude, I mean, I'm just gonna come out and say this too right now. I gotta say it. I I picked Eagles versus Dallas at one point. I, I'm pretty sure at one point I was like really confident that it was going to be the Eagles versus Dallas in the NFC Championship. So you talk about being wrong. Like, that is spectacularly wrong at this point. Like, I was way wrong, way wrong on that. Like, that was really bad. Like, I, I really blew it. Like, Eagles in Dallas to go to the NFC Championship... And, like, talk about a strikeout, bro. That was a straight-up straight up strikeout. Like, a marvelous strikeout. That was bad. Like, super wrong. Let me, let me put the donos up here real quick. What up, everybody? I am going live until the foreseeable future. Right now, with all you guys... Unfortunately, I put it on 60 frames per second by accident, which is going to kill my bandwidth, which sucks, but that's okay. That's okay. I fucked up. Computer's going to get a little beat up, but that's all right. It happens. Um, We are looking uh, at a goal. We'll see if we hit that goal today. We are on the Joe Cronin Show Telethon. That's right. The Joe Cronin Show Telethon. 40 hours to go. Will we reach the goal? I don't I don't know, but anyway, we're live. Um, you can um, super chat with anything you want to say, comment on. Uh, the donation link is up pinned to the top, streamlabs.com slash evil spectrum one 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 one. Hit the like button, share it, tell all your friends, tell all the discords, tell all the DMs and the Twitters and everything else. And I want to be here with you guys, my friends, as long as possible. And um yeah, we got a lot. There's a lot of wrestling news to talk about. Seth Rollins injury. We're gonna get into the Seth Rollins uh, injury thing. Whether it's what's really going on. There's a bunch of wrestling news. There's just so much stuff to say and talk about. Uh, we'll go into um, we'll go into the I uh, we'll go into the football stuff too. If you want, we'll go into football, NXT, AEW. It's all on the table, no matter what. Um, either way. Uh, Drew Barr says, I should have taken that $250 bucks bet. I feel stupid. Well, I, be- I bet the bucks last night too. But the problem is, in the in the betting that I did, I bet the wrong players. I, I was off by two players, and that killed me. I was in de- almost dead last place because of that. And I bet I, I bet my last of my money. Which, by the way, boy, was that a mistake, right? Boy, was that a mistake. Because if I go to work today, there's a potential that I could have earned 
$300 at work today, right? But the other day, because I had no money except for 20 bucks, I was like, yo, I'm going to take this 20 bucks and I'm going to try to, I, I have 500 bucks in bills I got to get done by the end of the week. I'm going to take this 20 bucks and I'm going to bet it all on Tampa, but I, but I bet the wrong players. And boy, was that a mistake because now I'm not at work today because I didn't have the gas money. So I just cost myself whatever I would have made at work today, which would have been at least $100. So talk about talk about a fucking retard move. I mean, like, I mean, you can't get any dumber than what I did, you know, but I was like, fuck, I don't know. Like, I'll do I'll try this. Well, that was a mistake. I, I get, talk about I mean, that is the ultimate gamble. I gambled and boy, did I lose. Not only did I lose the 20 bucks, but I lost the guaranteed 100 bucks from work. And I wasn't able to. So it's like, wow, bro. Like, and it, if, never mind if I made a sale at work, right? What if I made a sale? You know, so like, what a stupid move. So trust me, bro. Nobody screwed up on the betting last night more than me. I don't know. I mean, unless you bet $10,000 or 500 bucks or you bet something like that and you lost it, okay. Well, then I guess you lost more than me. But. I lost pretty fucking pretty stupidly last night. And that thus why I'm live on a Tuesday for all of you guys. Speaking of money and donations and the only thing that keeps the show going, let's go to those donations now. Shit bomb. Joe's bank account. Sad last days. <laughs> many, many times. I appreciate the midday entertainment. Thanks as always, Joe. Oh my god. That is fucking hilarious. Sad last days. Thank you, Shardy Janetti. I got to buy my daughter a birthday cake, too, so this is the big thing. You know what I'm saying? I was supposed to take her ice skating tomorrow. I don't know if that's going to happen, but we'll see. Uh, we do have Rage tonight, so that's good. Shardy Janetti with the $5 becoming a $5 shit bum. Oh, my God. Die. Thank you so much, uh, Shardy Janetti. Can we get an orgasm, please, for Shardy Janetti? Shardy. Because you came a five dollar shit bum shardy, we gotta get an orgasm. Hang on a second, let me get this. Um, okay, we, we gotta get the orgasm. Make it happen, God, make it happen. Go ahead. Spin the wheel now, you stupid ass. No, that's Leah. Come on, what? Oh. There we go. There we go. Oh. Shardy Janetti, thank you so much, bro. Really appreciate that, my friend. Um, that is, let's put, let's put him up on the board. So Seth Rollins, we got to look into the Seth Rollins injury though, too. So we got to get to that, right? Like as soon as possible, we got to get to the Seth Rollins injury. So let's get to the Seth Rollins injury. Let's move this over here. We're doing a JCS telethon. We'll go as long as we can. <clears throat> Sorry. Lost my voice. Uh, Let's see. Who's that? Shardy Janetti? Shardy Janetti. Five dollars. Let's give him the top spot. Top spot for Shardy Janetti. Uh, thank you, Shardy. Really appreciate that, Shardy. Shardy Janetti, you're getting the top spot. Should I put you right here? Yeah, Shardy Janetti, top dono. Okay, so... We'll pull up the Seth Rollins thing in a second here. You raised a piece of shit. Oh, shit. At least you didn't call out to get high like the chuckle fucks I work with. Right. I'm not surprised if Seth got hurt. Lol. Fuck him and fuck his SJW feminist wife, Becky the Curse Lynch. Oh, my God. Bimbo Baggins. What up, man? Thank you, Bimbo Baggins. Um, Yeah. I hate calling out. It sucks. Pedwell Rock, what's up, man? Yeah, just refresh. We're live. I don't know if there's, you know, sometimes when you're waiting for it to go live, it doesn't go live or whatever for you. So, but we are live. We're good. I think we're good. I don't think there's any problems. So, uh, just make sure you, uh, you're you good to go. Let me just close my Photoshop really quickly. I love the dick. All right. Let's calm down. Uh, this finna be a breeze. Uh, so Seth Rollins might be injured. Um, this is not good, it looks like. WWE World Heavyweight Champion Seth Rollins reportedly suffered an, inji an injury. Inji? 
He had an he had an NG, guys. Seth Rollins, um, according to Dave Meltzer, who knows about nothing these days, Rollins will be undergoing tests to determine the severity of the injury to his le left leg. WWE officials, after being seen limping during a promo following the broadcast, yikes. I'm concerned that this is a an MCL or ACL. You know, some kind of ACL, MCL tear. I, I and I want to say maybe he didn't tear it off, but maybe he, maybe he tore slight tear. I mean, bro, depending on this injury, he may not be able to do the things he's supposed to do. Let's say he he slightly tore something, and something needs surgery, or slightly tore something and it needs three months to heal. There is a potential that Rollins could wrestle at WrestleMania and then go for surgery after that, I think. But uh, at the very, to me, I don't know, I could be wrong, but to me at the very least, Seth Rollins won't wrestle again until WrestleMania. If that, right? And the second option is that Seth Rollins is out for three to nine months with whatever this injury could be. He's getting an MRI, and then they're going to find out. It could be something minor. It could be something worse. We won't know until the MRI comes back. That's what Meltzer said. So, you know, again, and if it's a, if it's a slight tearing or the, the, the neg he gets all negatives, then he maybe tweaks something, and it's not that big a deal. He just pulled something, and it would take two to four weeks to be back to normal. Um, but if he tore something even slightly, yikes. I don't think it's an MCL or ACL. I want to say that's not a full tear because he would know that, right? I feel like you would know that. You almost know it right away. Like, okay, I just tore my ACL, whatever. But I, but I don't know, man. It could be a slight tear. So... I'm I'm worried about it being I'm very concerned about it being an MCL ACL tear or or just like a little a tw even just a little I mean like a little bit of a tear a little bit of an injury to it um I mean I and and by the way Cora Jade the same thing Cora Jade was down in, in significant amount of pain really was hurt and then you know she now if I'm Seth Rollins you, there, now there's two ways you can go but let, let's let's say the worst I don't want to think the worst but let's let's go to the worst thing that could happen let's go to the worst thing the worst thing is that they've got to now get the belt off Seth now do do you do this do you have do you have Seth Rollins go out there and say that you, he's badly injured, like really badly injured, but he's not going to vacate the belt? He, you know, do you guys remember when Cody Rhodes tore his pectoral muscle and he went out there and had that match? You think that Seth freaking Rollins is going to take a break and vacate this title and, and go out and go have surgery when I watched what Cody Rhodes did. Cody, you ain't going to get that satisfaction. <laughs> None of you people, nobody is. I love every one of you guys, and I'm going to be a fighting champion, do or die. And, and, and basically what happens is then the announcer says, well, Seth, it's, it's to my understanding you really can't physically walk right now. And this is not an injury that's going to heal in 30 days. Yeah, my friend, it may not it may not heal in 30 days. I may not be able to walk, but the fact of the matter is I'll be better than I am now in 30 days when I have to defend this title or if I have to defend this title. And then, boom, Damian Priest's music hits, and out comes Damian Priest, and he beats him up with the crutches and shit, and then he cashes in, and he wins. That way Seth goes down kind of defiant as a fighting champion, but he can't walk. You know, it's like, what do you think's going to happen? Uh, or, of course, Seth vacates the belt 
and then Damian Priest can just come down with the briefcase and be like, I'm cashing in, uh, give me the belt. They could do that. I mean, those are the two things I would probably do. <clears throat> um, I guess if you have to, because you've got to do something, that would be, that's if Rollins is that injured, right? That's only in the worst case scenario that he's, I guess the worst case scenario is that he can't go out and even compete for a second and show up in the ring and like do something. So there, I guess that would be the worst. Like that he can't even go out there and, you know, try to attempt some story thing to get written off TV. So, you know, you you just hope that that's not the case. You hope it's a slight tweaking of the knee or the leg or whatever, and that's it. And it's not this MCL or ACL tear um, or, you know, a bad knee contusion. But, yeah, this really adds to the whole idea of a cash-in happening. Because you've got to do it now. And and, and if, yeah, if you knew he was going to be, if you knew that Rollins was going to be hurt like this, I mean, man, you would have, uh, you would have, I don't know, maybe you might have put the, I mean, would you have put the belt on, on Jinder Mahal last night? I don't think so, because then why is Damian Priest there? And, um... Yeah, I just, I, I don't, because I, I feel like Priest, I mean, Jinder Mahal has just always been a like a road bump on the story here, and that was all he was kind of being used for. It always seemed to me like like they were they were building Jinder Mahal up, you know, unnecessarily. You know, why do you think they were building him up? They were building him up so that, that you could have some kind of believability that like, hey, this guy is a threat to Rollins right now. You know, that's why they did it. So... And they, they, they got it. They did what they needed to do with, with Jinder. They built him up for like two weeks after the Rock thing to justify that. And, you know, good good job. I mean, they, they utilized him for two, two solid weeks. And that's what they did. Kevin Nash reveals the wrestling theme that they wanted Razor Ramon to use. Um... <clears throat> During uh, instead of the one he had. That's weird. Kevin Nash reveals the original gimmick Vince McMahon wanted for Scott Hall before he became Razor Ramon. I thought it said original music. During the latest uh, Click podcast, Tony Khan talking about Hook. What does this have to do with Hook? Nash showed a picture of Hook. Nash said, who is this? His co-host said, that's Hook. Nash said, Jesus, I mean, is that guy like a flyweight? Kevin Nash said, Vincent Mann originally wanted Scott Hall to have a Marine character when he first went to WWF. So originally, Vince McMahon wanted Scott Hall to be a Marine. But instead, he went with the whole machismo uh, gimmick. So very, very interesting. What's up, baby? Um, Give me a hug. Happy birthday. I love it's you. my birthday. Can they hear me? Yes. It's my birthday. <laughs> it's my birthday. Guess how old I am? Um, you're 500. No. No, they have to guess how old I am. Oh, they have to guess? Yes. Okay, that's the game? Yes. It's called the guessing age game. How about the snow? You got snow on your birthday. Is that cool? Yes. We, I was in the middle of a rant. Guess, guess, guess my age. Mm, we'll find out. I'm going to find out if anybody guesses the age. No, I'm going to guess the age. What? You don't think so? I talk a lot about you. Maybe. Happy 23rd, 23rd. <laughs> Mr. Pico. Mm, seven. You're talking, 50-year-old. You know, Mr. Pico, I think, is 50. Like, exactly. <laughs> no, he's not 50. He's older. So Seth got injured and Jinder won a belt. What's up, Aru? Uh, they got out of school early because uh, it's snowing like crazy. Guess my age. Um, no, no, no. Wait, yes. Federico. Federico Wait, got... no, 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 no. He got it wrong. He got it wrong. What? No, he didn't. 
why are people getting 14? That's scary. Oh my god, imagine if you were 14. You're wow. 12, 11, 8, 14, 10, 11, 14, 8, 9. That's 10, crazy. 10, Your brother's 14. Mine is 12. My daughter turns 8 next month. I know you're around her age. Yes, I am around her age. Um, we got to give it to Federico. He got it right. <laughs> Federico Garza. What's up? What's up, buddy? How is how is snow day school? I'm 10 years old. You want you want to know what my cake is like? So, it is a chocolate cake with pink frosting on it and then it has sprinkles and of course my favorite color pink candles with marshmallows on top. Because Dad asked for marshmallows, and now I want marshmallows on top of my cake. Dad. Happy birthday. Dad. What's up, buddy? Did you realize Daniel wants me to? Yeah, no, duh, Luke Rojas. Rojas. Yeah, Rojas. I just remembered in, uh, I think, Spanish, they pronounce the J's. H, right? That's right, it's Rojas. Rojas, yeah. You got to be careful with Rojas, though, because he grew up watching me, so... He's a creepo. All right, go play. I'll be up in a few minutes. But I don't miss that. Give me hug. Give me hug. Happy birthdays. Happy birthdays. <laughs> don't do that. I've been locked in this basement for 10 years. <laughs> help me. What's wrong with Send you? Send help. I've been locked in his basement. What are you doing? I've been forced to make puppets. <laughs> <laughs> I need to sound a lot heck? better. I'm forced I'm to make dying. puppets? Yes, because I'm a puppet. <laughs> Where did I thought you... my tongue was red. Someone... When I stuck out my tongue, I was like, <clears throat> and you got mad at me. Like, <clears throat> yeah. Ooh. <laughs> Imagine if somebody it's was... It's perfect to put on my tongue. <clears throat> Hand sanitizer? Once I was opening that... And it squirted in my mouth. Yeah. That's gross. I didn't die. Rojas has done that, too. He ate shampoo. You're crying and your family left. I'm sitting in your lap later crying. <coughs> Rojas, exactly. Rojas drank uh, shampoo. So that's all, uh, that's I all you need to know. I thought you were about to know. say champagne. <laughs> no, shampoo. Ow, why'd you pinch me? Ow. <laughs> that hurts. Shampoo. Shampoo-poo. Yeah, he drank. Uh, he drank it, and uh, he he almost threw up after. Because he drank a lot of it to be. I mean, like at least Why? it looked like On it. Yeah, somebody he had to. He was like, if somebody donates something, he would drink shampoo. Like even two dollars. Two. Cents. I don't remember what it was, but he drank shampoo. That's all I know. And I saw it. It wasn't like it was fake. I'd be like, give me a thousand bucks, and I'll drink shampoo. I'll drink. I'll drink shampoo if you give me a thousand dollars. Well. It was less than that, and he drank shampoo. And he didn't, and, you know, I think we made most of the money. And he drank shampoo for for us, basically, you know. Do you guys like Shrek? No, nobody likes Shrek. Shrek is, like, fat and green, and we don't like that. But you're fat, too. I'm not green, though. <laughs> I mean, you can be green. Rojas does roids. 20 bucks? Yeah, I think he did. He did. He didn't really. I mean, I didn't tell him to do it. I, You know, I said, don't do that. You know, I said, don't do it. I think I said, I think if you watch it, I think I said, don't do that. What are you doing? And then he did it. And Ro I said, okay. Rojas, let, let me inform you that um, you... You did that for twenty dollars, and I, and the ten-year-old me myself has made a hundred dollars because I existed. What? Because remember at the family party, everyone was giving out free money. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I yeah. got three. Oop, and you only got twenty dollars. Because you're a kid. What's mom doing with I the cake? Is she money. starting the cake yet? Not yet. Okay. Well, don't miss it because she wanted you to do it with it. I think. I know. That was my finger scratching. <laughs> Too sweet. Ow, Jesus Christ, you just cut me. Oh, my God. Yeah, you got nails. What the hell's wrong with you? They're not that sharp to me. Oh, my God, I'm bleeding. They're not sharp to me. Look at this. 
Did not show up yet because you know, I didn't do that to you. You didn't do. Look at this. I'm bleeding because of what you just did. Oh, it's not that bad. Stop being a baby. I'm bleeding. Look at that. That's blood. What? Your fingernails are dirty. I'm gonna get an infection like Lana. And then I'm gonna have to go to the hospital and get MRSA. Do, do you, Jesus do, Christ, Brenna. Look do at you this. Get scratched too? I have two cuts. Look at this. Okay, maybe that's a little bit bad. <laughs> Look at this. She stabbed me with her fingernail. Oopsies. You give me one of those alcohol pads so I don't get some weird infection okay. from your nails. Especially you're scratching yourself. Good Christ. I'm bleeding. Oh, I'm like really bleeding now. <clears throat> he's busted open. Damn it, he's bleeding. He's busted wide open. I was in the middle of my rant about Seth Rollins. I don't remember what we were talking about now. My daughter interrupted it. It is her birthday. Shit bum. Play a donation. Salute Joe. Go pack go baby. Yes, congrats to the Packers fans out there. You guys have got to be happy about that. Mysterious Black, thank you uh, for the $2 and the $2 super chat. She's Wolverine's daughter. <laughs> uh, that's pretty funny. Uh, she's Wolverine's daughter. That's a good one. Shout out to you. It's my birthday. So you became a... That's well, it's my daughter's. A member. <laughs> Colonel Stutters with... um. Oh, Jesus. This hurts. She really stabbed me. Uh, Colonel Stutters with 15 months in a row... As a member, Colonel Stutters, thank you so much, bro. Appreciate that. The Seth Rollins, it's my birthday, so you became a Here, I got a, few uh, a member. Oh, it's okay. I just need one. I just need this. I got you that one too. That is from Arushin Chu. Arushin Chu. Man, Arushin Chu just dropped, um, what is this? Arushin Chu, 41 months in a row yeah. as a member. Yeah, I saw that before you even knew. Wow, Aru, what's up, man? That is crazy, guys. 41 months in a row for Aru. Is that the cat on the wall? What is th Brad 2024. Oh my god. Oh. Jesus. How would you how are you doing that? What do you mean how am I doing that? I can't do that. What? I I would never be able to just do that. <laughs> you like stab me. You you wolverined me. Just so you know, do not mess with me or I'll do what I did to my father. Good <laughs> Christ. That was not intentional, by the way. I know. Look at that. Like You clawed the hell out of me. Why does my hair look brown in the camera? What did you do to it? It's the camera. Guys. Here you go. Oh, sorry. You're dead now. You can't. You can't. All right. Let me put a Band-Aid on my boo-boo. <laughs> um, I gave him some extra boo-boos. So. Yeah, so I mean, so Seth Rollins, we don't know yet. He's going for an MRI. We're going to find out probably soon, I would think. Um, I mean, it took a little while to find out Cora Jade had an ACL tear or whatever. Was, was it ACL or MCL now with Cora? I don't remember now. But I feel bad for her because she had worked. I'd been watching some of her stuff, and she had been working really hard to get in this shape. And she was training and doing all these things, and she was getting matches everywhere. And now she's going to be out for, <clears throat> you know, probably eight months to a year, but certainly at least probably eight months. Um, we are doing a stream all day long today, or, or not all day long, but for a bit today we'll be live. 
So if you guys want to super chat, use the super chat down below, become a member down below, or use the Streamlabs donation link pinned to the top of the chat. Say or do anything uh, you want there. Let me just um, grab this really quickly. Um, what? What happened to that vanilla vanilla bingo? Bimbo Baggins is actually in first. Let me switch to Bimbo Baggins. Bimbo Baggins. My my daughter's home from school because it's a snow it's snowing bad outside, so the school early released the kids, which is weird. But the school did an early release, so. Um, and I ran out of gas money, so I couldn't get to work today. So um, I'm I'm streaming as much as I can, so I uh, can make some money because uh, I couldn't even go to work today because I have no money. Jesus, you are my daughter. That's all I can say. I hope they heard that. Where the hell did you hear that? <laughs> I made it up. <laughs> oh my God, is that concerning? If you Shit made that bum! Up. If Rollins is out for a while, Ooh, what would you think about much. Punk slash Cody and Rock slash Roman as the two Mania main events? All hail Luke Rojas, the forever champ. Ladies and gentlemen, Shardy Janetti becoming a $5-ish bum... Appreciate that, bro. If Rollins is out for a while, what would you think about Punk and Cody? Well, it seems like they're testing the waters with Punk and Cody, and they're, you know, Shardy, and they might even be doing this with everybody in a way. Um, and I, I don't know why, but maybe because so they have backup plans or extra plans, you know, in case something goes south. Say Seth Rollins is injured. Well, that, they were planning on kind of setting up Cody and Punk potentially, you know, you've got all these little stories in your back pocket in case somebody gets hurt or something goes wrong. I mean, that might happen. And now that now, now that really might happen. So because if Seth is injured, that could throw all the plans into a crazy loop. And um, so, yeah, I, I would be concerned about that. But I would also think that it's good planning on their part to have all these backup plans. WrestleMania is a ways away. Anybody can get hurt. We saw what happened to Cody Rhodes a little while back. You know, he got that that tear what if cm punk gets hurt we but we still haven't cm punk still has not proven that this guy could wrestle a full year without getting hurt or even six months without getting hurt cm punk was injured in aew three times two of those times for elongated halt like times like he was out for a while and so we know how cm punk performed in the mma and we know how cm punk has performed in aew which is you know, the guy gets hurt, what, twice? Two major injuries during his runs? With, within the first year, major injury. Comes back within that, that second and a half year, major injury. So it's like we still haven't seen CM Punk be able to compete for a whole year without getting majorly hurt. And, and you know what's funny is because he left WWE with all that, like, oh, they're unsafe and the injuries and all that sort of thing. And then he goes to AEW and he has the some of the biggest injuries of his career, right? Am I, am I wrong? What are CM Punk's biggest injuries of his career? I don't know exactly what they are. And maybe somebody could correct me or let me know about this. But what I can say is that I'm pretty sure that his top three injuries ever, two of them at least, happened in AEW. I mean, if anybody knows about a WWE injury where he was out for, like, you know, more than three or four months, I, I there might have been one where he was out for, like, two two months, one month, three months. I don't know. So let me know if anybody knows what that is. Cat Williams made so much noise over the last two weeks, says PWP Nation on Facebook, my friend PWP Nation, go check him out that he had to meet up with another legend to make some noise. He, uh, Cat Williams, we talked about him on, uh, you know, monetize this on my show last couple weeks ago. We talked about him kind of going crazy on uh, that other show with Shannon Sharp, who dresses like a weirdo. Um, and there's Sasha Banks with Cat Williams. But if I look down below to the bottom right of uh, Sasha Banks's legs, because someone said that he was looking for her, but I don't know if he's looking for her because this looks like a backstage pass for him. Because that looks like Cat Williams right there. 
So it looks like to me that Mercedes Monet, Sasha Banks, went to Cat Williams' show and then met him backstage. That's what this looks like. By the way, what, what else went on there? Where, by the way, how can we never see photos of Sasha Banks and her husband, that little troll who makes women's clothes? How can we never, ever see pictures anymore or videos? I mean, do you guys? I don't know. But I, I see her with everybody, but I never see her with her seamstress husband. So I don't know if that's something people can look out, look into. But I don't know. It's very weird. This is finna be a breeze. Go, ah! What? Someone donated a hundred dollars. It said seven something. Donated oh, those are old donations. Oh, um. So what's up? Uh, do you guys want to hear my monkey and my eagle impression? Really quickly, then go upstairs to mom. She wants to talk to you. Okay, I'm go going ahead. to tell you. Okay, here's my eagle compression. Uh, compression. Um, impress. Com- why can I say it? Impression. Impression. Okay, there you go. Uh, I'm gonna. I'm about to kind of scream. No, don't sc- my God, don't scream into the mic. And then. <laughs> you were doing something the other day that was really good. Was it a monkey? That's pretty good. Cause I am. That's pretty good. Oh, look at that. You see that, Jay, Jay Menace? Did she do a good impression of you, Jay? What's up? Um, but yeah, you're a monkey. Yeah, Jay Menace. <laughs> what up, man? No, he's not. Um, All right, all right. Wait a minute. What was the one you were doing the other day? No, was it that? Or was it caca, caca? No, it was really good, though. Like, it was, like, that's pretty good. But, like, there was one you did the other day that I was like, whoa. Like, that's really good. Might have been that. I don't know. Maybe you were. Maybe it was a dog. Did you do a dog? (laughs) (laughs) Ow, my arm balls. Uh, You abused me. (laughs) I'm fine now. (laughs) Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. All right, go ahead. Happy ooh ooh ah ah. All right, go ahead. Okay. I'll see you in a few. I'm going to cuck out myself out of here. I We're lucky. I wasn't supposed to be home until 7 o'clock, so we're lucky you get to see me. <laughs> Your brother's been waiting for you, too. Did you see Gav? Did you see Gavin? Go say hi to him because he was going to give you a hug and stuff. <laughs> Jesus. We're, somebody, we got to clip that for Jay Menace. We got to clip that for Jay Menace. She doesn't know what why that's messed up. <laughs> we basically, we basically got her to like destroy Jay Menace, and she doesn't even know it. <laughs> like, what the hell, bro? I'm gonna leave this briefcase. Right oh shit, Blizz Kid! I'm gonna leave this briefcase right here. Blizz Kid! I'm gonna leave this briefcase right here. I'm gonna leave this briefcase right here. Uh-huh, uh, I'm gonna leave this briefcase Blizz right kid. here. Son, run, run, you fat Just bitch. imagine how bad Joe was as a kid, says Rojas. Run, 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 you fat bitch. Run, 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 you fat bitch. You gotta run, you gotta run, you got them big balloons. You gotta run, you gotta run, you gotta run, you gotta run, you gotta run. White people ended the world. White people destroying the world. All this just for a Jinder Mahal title match. Shaking my head. Right. Who the All- fuck is Jinder? <laughs> ha 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 ha. <laughs> that fuck boy who is smiling somewhere right now. Tony Khan's getting ready to oil him up, mo fuck boy. <laughs> oh my God, Blizz Kid. Yo, <laughs> that Blizz Kid, that is great. Oh my God, dude. <laughs> oh my God. 
All right, somebody in the chat said, we've known your kids forever. Yeah, Jay Swiss, we all have favorites of your kids. That's how long some of us have been here, Joe. Jesus Christ. Yeah, do you guys remember when I used to do the show and the door was behind me? Think about how old my daughter was then. She was like one and a half or right, right, or whatever age she was. Look at this video of my daughter from when I was doing the show in front of the door. I've got a video of her. I love this video of her. It's my favorite video um, of my daughter. Um, I just love her. It's just she's definitely the most like me of any of the kids, and she does the most with me. It just seems like she does the most with me and always gives me the most attention of any of the kids. So here it is. I love this video. <laughs> this is my favorite video. I, I think I just finished doing a show or I was doing a show. I don't remember. But so I was filming her with my video camera. But we're at my desk where I do the show from. And this was um, this was 2016, back when things were great, when she was two. Here it is. <laughs> it's funny. It's Finny. <laughs> it's funny. It's not Finny. It's funny. Let's see Finny. It's Finny. <laughs> it's Finny. Yeah, it's Finny, Daddy. <laughs> it's Finny. <laughs> it's funny. Okay. Wow. Oh, oh. Obama. Obama? <laughs> Obama? <laughs> That's the best part. <laughs> Obama? <clears throat> yeah, so that was uh that was fun. But I mean I mean you some of you guys, some people listening to my show started listening to me in 2012. So 12, 13, 14. She wasn't born until 14. So some people knew me when I only had one kid. So it's pretty crazy. So it's her birthday today. That's why it's it's nice. Um, Jay, Love you, Jay Swiss. Thank you, bro. I love you guys. You guys have been like a miniature family for me for years. Some people are new. Some people are OGs. Some people come and go. Arush and Chew earlier has been around forever. Yeah, there's Melly peeking in in the background. I was having a big meltdown over Melly yeah. uh, the other day. I was thinking about Melly, and I was like, "Oh, where's um? Is this her birthday a few years ago? Yeah, this was." And, uh, happy birthday to you! All right, now you make a wish and blow it out. <laughs> yeah, good job. Good girl. I think it's yellow kid. Yeah, so that was um What well, I mean, we we all like lived in that room. Do you know what I mean? That was when we were at my mom's house, so we're in the other part of the house. So that was our living room and it's like my computer was there, Leah's computer was there, the kids all hung out there. Then there was the kitchen, then the other room, and then we had our bedroom upstairs, which was a really big room. But basically like a lot of times that's the one thing that definitely changed when we moved out of that house of my mother's house was we all kind of moved into our own areas, right? Like I'm hanging out a lot down here doing this. Sometimes I'm up in the kitchen doing things and then I have my bedroom, but then the kids are all in their rooms or doing their own thing. So it's like, even though, you know, it's crazy that we're all in the same room. And like when I was doing a show, we had to kick the kids out so I could do the show. And sometimes I didn't kick them out, but I had to be careful what I was doing on the show. Um, so, even though that's the case, you, you sort of like you were closer back then when you think about it. Like everybody was always around each other, even though we are still, it's not quite the same. You were like on top of each other, which is not good. But at the same time, it's like you were like around everybody, you know, so it's 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 it is different, you know, once things change a little bit. <laughs> you ready? There's my desk right there. There's the chair. Jeez. There's the desk. All right, get the ball. You can throw it to me now. Whoa. <laughs> Good throw. There's the All baby right, over there. There's Gavin playing games. All right, I'm going to throw it. You got to catch. Yeah, there you go. Oh, good throw. Oh, yeah. She's still good at catching, by the way. <laughs> oh, <laughs> sorry, baby. Here you go. Yeah, there you go. 
You're not a baby? I'm sorry. You're Brenna. Brenna. See how, see how mad she got? I called her. I said, I said baby, like endearingly. I was like, good catch, baby. She's like, I'm not a baby. She hated that. Yeah, there you go. You're not a baby? <laughs> sorry, baby. Here it goes. Yeah, there you go. You're not a baby? I'm sorry. You're Brenna. Brenna with the Brady shirt. I tried to play it off like I called her Brady. <laughs> I was like, I'm Brady, I called you Brady. I didn't say baby. I called you Brady. Um, No, my mother would have flipped out if it did, Luke. If that house smelled like piss, my mother would be furious, bro. You know? Gavin is exactly my height now. Exactly my height. What up, Blizzkid? Yeah, Blizzkid been here a long time. Will Tactics as well. Um. Yeah, she probably would want to continue the business, Luke. There's no doubt about that, or whatever, whatever you call this. I don't know, Shardy Janetti. Thank you, Blizz Kid. Blizz Kid been around a long time. I just want to go back to what he said in case I missed it. All, all this just for a Jinder Mahal title match. Yeah, I mean, th somebody was saying there's a rumor that Seth might have been slightly hurt beforehand, and that's why they started this. And because like somebody thought he was already injured the other day, I don't know if you guys saw this. So somebody thought he was already injured maybe the other day, and that's why they were going to do this and they were going to take the belt off him so he could go whatever heal up. And this is something that they already thought was going to happen. But the more I look at it, it's like I don't think they didn't know anything. I think that was just rumors. And then the guy legit got hurt in this match. So I don't know if he got hurt fully in this match or if something was already tweaked and then this kind of ripped it and he and he finally got fully hurt. You know how you slightly rip something and tear it or stretch it, but then you go out there and you overexert and then it's like you really do get fully injured or tear something for real um, because you loosened it already or it was an issue before? Because sometimes that happens. You weaken something. You don't realize it. You don't get an MRI. You don't get a scan. So they don't go, oh, man, that's close to tearing off. You need, you know, you need to rehab and see if that gets better before you can go out there. You'll otherwise you will tear it. Um, I don't know if that's the case, but that's you know, like even like uh, hairline fractures and stuff like that happen like that a lot. You have a, a slight fracture or a hairline fracture, and then you don't realize it, and you go out there and you land on your leg, and then just <laughs> like it just that whole thing snaps then, and it all came from this, like little tiny little fracture tear or little moment that you had a while back and you didn't really see it coming so that does happen um and uh we will uh pause just for a second guys if you want to support the show streamlabs.com slash evil spectrum one 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 slash tip uh it's pinned to the top of the stream if you want the link or you can super chat become a member Etc. 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 Let's take a second to listen in to Lexus King Brian Pillman Jr. He was on Chris Van Vliet's podcast. Let's take a little listen into that real quick while we uh, take a second here, and I'll be back in just a second. We'll listen to this sweet Nirvana shirt, by the way. Uh, Lexus King for the company were through the Jacksonville Jaguars. So and we ran out of the arena there. So I went Daly's and, place, yeah. Um, this is when like all the shows were being run out of Daly's place, yeah, right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, so it makes pandemic sense. To be there. Uh, pandemic era wrestling. Yeah. Where you don't have fans or and then later on we did have fans at the arena at Daly's place. But we were uh I was like, How can I, you know, shorten this commute? Because I was flying there every two weeks. And I thought, well, I'll just move there. Yeah. And I was ten minutes from the building. Yeah. I moved in with my buddy uh, Bear Boulder, as you know from he's in the Iron Savages, the tag team yeah. on AEW. So that was my first like wrestling buddy roommate. Yeah, you know? and uh, no, it was great. We were ten minutes from the venue every two weeks. Everybody would be flying in, and we'd be just getting a good night's rest and just heading over to the venue and performing our best. And we lived about twenty minutes from the beach, and then. After a while, I met a girl that lived on the beach. I moved in with her, and he, he moved his girlfriend into our place, and things just kind of took off quick, you know. But um, it was a pretty easy decision to move back home um, once my lease was up because, you know, we were back on the road. AEW was back on the road, so 
you know, we didn't have to be, we didn't have to be in Jacksonville. So it was just being close to an airport. Yeah. It was just be close to an airport. Cincinnati is great airport. Obviously my hometown, I live right by there too. Um, and I just kind of needed to get a nice little reset. I needed to get my, get my stuff together. Um, being down there was, was a very important experience in my life. I learned a lot about myself. Learned a lot about, you know, the wrestling business, but also I needed a place I could train. There wasn't, there wasn't a great place to train in Jack's. Um, I went back to the local school in uh, Cincinnati, the NWF, the Bone Crushers Academy, and I started going every week and just, you know, just getting my mind right, getting everything back in order. Um, because, you know, the wrestling business takes a toll on you. And sure. You're traveling a lot, and, you know, I was living on the beach, I was partying a lot, and, you know, just kind of got ahead of myself there. You know, and then I uh, moved back home and so like a reset on. Yeah. Yeah. It was great. It was, yeah. it was the best thing ever. And, you know, here I am back in Florida, you know, I thought about going from Jacksonville to Orlando and just being like, all right, I'll just, I'll set up base in Orlando. Yeah. That'd be like three hours, right? Two yeah, hours. Yeah. And like, like I was like, all right, I'll just go from here to Orlando. And that way, you know, if anything comes up, I'll already be in Orlando. But I was like, you know what? No, I need to head home, hit the reset button. And uh, best thing I ever could have done. I feel like I know Brian Pillman Jr. pretty well. Like yeah. we, we go way back, right? Yeah, he, he was a good kid. Yeah. <laughs> I don't feel like I know Lexus King at all. Well, well, I'm here to introduce you. Please. To Lexus King. Um, this will be our first interview. That's right. The other two interviews were with Brian Pillman Jr. Who's that guy? I don't know who he is. So. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't know who he is anymore. But uh, Lexus King is, is starting to establish himself on the NXT roster. I would say I've already made quite a few waves. I've proved a lot of doubters wrong. Made a lot of enemies too. <laughs> made, a lot of, made a lot of enemies too. And, and that's kind of comes with the lay of the land, you know? Yeah. The more you succeed, the more people you piss off. And then it's just a, it's a never ending cycle. You know, you can't move up in the world without, you know, rubbing a few people wrong. What an entrance you have. Mm -hmm. I've, ever since your debut, like with that throne coming over yeah, yeah. with the fog machine. Yeah, it was, it was great. I mean, it was just, I was just sitting in it and I'm backstage and I'm thinking like, is this real? You know what I mean? You know, I spent, you know, and this isn't a knock on anybody, but you know, I spent so many months of my career um, at the previous company, just second guessing myself. Like, am I, am I really any good? Am I worth it? A lot of self doubt. And just to see how my career has done a total 180 since then, you know, I went from just sitting in the back and, and filming a few dark matches in Orlando here and there, you know, six minute tag matches, you know, barely getting in the ring and feeling the canvas to now I'm sitting in a throne and I'm making my entrance in, in, in the, in the, in the biggest wrestling company in the world. You know what I mean? And, and they, they have this confidence in me. <laughs> And it kind of fuels me. I have now have confidence in myself. Hell, they gave me the name King. You know what I mean? You can't. You didn't get any better than that. You know what I mean? So, just to to feel that 180 and and to go out there and 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 perform with a certain level of grit and attitude, like you know, I'm gonna prove everyone wrong that that didn't believe in me. It's a it's a true, you know, it's a dream come true. We'll get back to it in just a second, but I have to tell you about Magic Spoon because one of my goals this year was to cut back on sugar and Magic Spoon makes that easier and more delicious than ever. Their variety pack has four flavors, cocoa, fruity, frosted, and peanut butter. And this pack has zero grams of sugar, 13 to 14 grams of protein, and four to five grams of net carbs, and only 140 calories per serving. So it's high protein, zero grams of sugar, gluten-free, grain-free, and soy-free. So this right here is my favorite, the fruity flavor. And it's like eating a bowl of wholesome nostalgia. You've got all of those great fruit. I'm back, everybody. I'm sorry. Oh, my God, bro. I've got such a problem right now. I am like the biggest failure father ever. Bro, I'm so upset right now. I don't even, I don't know what to do, bro. This is just a nightmare. So it's my daughter's birthday today, right? I'm hiding in the basement right now. I don't know what to do. It's my daughter's birthday today. And um, 
on Friday, I, I, I knew what, I knew some of the I knew what she wanted for her birthday. You know what I mean? And you know we couldn't get everything, but we got a couple of things that she you know wanted. And so on Friday, I ordered I ordered this stuff, and it said it would be delivered last night. But it said, um, you know, it'll be coming in the morning today. In the morning, it's seven a.m. to seven a.m. to ten a.m. today. Seven a.m. to ten a.m. today. So I was expecting this by ten a.m. this morning, bro. I just got a Amazon notification. Now expected tomorrow at six p.m. Like, I am fucking lost right now look at this look, look at how it says now it's now now expected now expected tomorrow by six now expected oh so the stuff i ordered for overnight on friday it's like now it's expected for six when you told me it was going to be delivered in the morning today all because of the snow, probably. But still, like, what the fuck, bro? She's already asking. She, she's up there asking for a presence because I'm home, right? And I'm like, well, I'm home early, you know. So, you know, wait a little bit and we're going to, you know, wrap up the presents. But in my mind, I'm like, they're not here yet. That's why I'm waiting for them to get delivered. Once they get delivered, I'll wrap them and, we'll, you know, we'll, we'll give them to you. In my head, you know. So I'm just waiting. I'm watching out the window. Like, when, when are they going to be delivered? You know, I'm going to go wrap them and give them to her later. Um, and so I'm waiting. It says, you know, 7 a.m. to 10 a.m. Now it's 12 and it says, uh, 11 to 1 p.m. And I'm like, oh, 11 to 1 p.m. now? What the fuck? And now it says 6 p.m. And I'm like, oh, 6 p.m. Jesus Christ. I'm going to have to wait till 6 now? What the fuck is going on? Not, but it says tomorrow at 6 p.m. Bro, fucking God damn it. But it's like, can't, yeah, cancel it. But I, but but I have no money. Do you know what I mean? Like I have no money to buy a, a gift today. Do you know what I'm saying? Just tell her the truth. She's old enough to understand. <laughs> yeah. But what I why why is the other delivery arriving by 10 p.m. tonight? Still, I don't need the other delivery. I just can't believe this. Order some pizzas and Wawa's. I don't think we have Wawa's. I don't think so. Yeah, I'm going to I'm definitely going to I'm going to file a refund no, no matter what. Cause that sucks. Take her to Dollar Tree. That's a good idea, Mister Pico Boulevard. Maybe I'll do, but I don't have any money. <laughs> I have no money. But take her to Dollar Tree would be a good idea. That's the problem. Is now I don't have any way to make up for this. Do you know what I mean? I have. I don't have a way to make up for this. This just happened live. I'm on the air. I don't know what to do. Like I'm. This just happened to me live. I didn't expect this. Oh my god, bro. Like now arriving tomorrow. What the fuck? Bro. Dude. They said they'd be delivered like in the morning. Like what the fuck, bro? Like this is bullshit. Expected tomorrow at 6? Like, what the fuck? It's not that big of a blizzard. It's not that crazy out. Like, it's not that crazy outside. It's not that crazy. I hate to get news like this on the air because it's totally fucked me up in the head. But it's like... Why would they do, why wouldn't they tell you or why, I don't know. I know it's snowing up, but it's not that bad. 
It's going to rain. You know what's going to be bad is later when it starts raining and freezing at some point. That's when it's going to be bad. God damn it. Anyway. I'm staying on the air. I don't care. Uh, Amazon is usually really good, though. I, I, you know, I don't, they're really usually very good, you know, and this isn't that last minute though. That's what's crazy. I mean, it's a little bit last minute, but it's like, it's not that last minute. All right, I'll be I'll be back in a second. I'm just texting Leah. Um, but I don't have money to. She'll she's she's just gonna be upset. I just don't like I don't like this. I've never had this happen before. But I don't have. Um, maybe we'll do. Um, I don't know. Have to figure something out. I can't think of it on air, but um, let's go back to the news. We'll figure it out later. Um, let's go, let's go back to the Seth Rollins and see if there's an update. So I, I uh, Dave Meltzer says he knows that he's getting an MRI, and we'll find out. Basically, I was told that um, it could be something minor or it could be something worse. We don't know. I mean, that's why he's getting an MRI because they're like something is wrong, and it's. It seems like it's not good, but is he going to be all right in two weeks? Or is this going to be a nagging thing that he'll eventually need surgery for? Or is something so fucked up that it's like he can't compete like this? Why is there no sound on this? Did I turn sound down? Why is there no sound? Oh, wait. There's an Amazon guy showing up here. Oh, shit. There's, a, there's literally an Amazon guy making a delivery right now.
All right, I'm back. Sorry. Okay, so I don't understand this. I'm so I'm so lost. <laughs> they said they weren't. <laughs> I showed you guys the message. It said won't be delivered until tomorrow at six p.m. And I was like, oh shit. I mean, I've got the screenshot of it saying that. Why would you tell me that? <laughs> well, they just delivered. <laughs> Look at what the fuck. They just delivered it. So, even though they said it wouldn't be here until tomorrow at 10, they some guy got out of his car wearing all the Amazon stuff, came up and delivered it. And I'm like, what? What? So now when I go and look at the website, it says delivered. Everything is delivered. <laughs> so, what the fuck, bro? You guys are going to kill me. You're going to kill me, Amazon. Oh, my God, bro. I cannot believe that, bro. I went out to thank the guy. I went out and, like, just to... Brenna's up there, so I had to be careful. It's, you know, her birthday stuff. I didn't want her to be like, I want to open it now. But, um, oh, my God, bro. I don't know who this Amazon guy is, but he was, like, a hero. If I had any kind of money, I was going to give him a tip, but I don't have any money. And I haven't shoveled anything yet, so it's like super slippery and scary and whatever. So shout out to this guy. He just showed up at my house. Like, I mean, shout out to that Amazon guy, you know. I couldn't give him anything but a thank you. Thank you very much. That was very cool. That, like, made my whole day, bro. <sighs> That guy has no idea. If, if I had twenty bucks, I would have given it to him, but I didn't. I wanted to give him. I wanted to give him twenty bucks, but I, I I couldn't find anything. I thought I thought there was a twenty dollar bill that I found in the laundry the other day, but like I couldn't. I've been looking all over for it because I knew I. You know what I mean? I would have used it for gas this morning actually, but I still thought maybe it was around, so I looked a little bit. I couldn't find it, and then I almost slipped because I went flying out the door to be like, "Hey, thank you." Because I wanted to make sure that the guy heard a thank you, um, at least. So, oh, do we get it on video? Thank you. Sorry about the stuff. Yeah, it's funny. It's gonna be on me. Like, thank you. That's all you get. Sorry, brother. I'm poor. It looks like I'm looks like I'm not because I have a house, but you <laughs> pretty soon the bank will, might have it. Uh, thank you very much. All, right. Super all the drama's out the way. Party. Yay! All right, we're all set. Will tactics? Who do you think is wrestling Brock at Mania? Who do I think is wrestling Brock at Mania? I, um, it, maybe Randy Orton, right? I, I'm trying to think of like what's a big match. What could be a big match? Like, that's important for for guys like this. Could it has have Brock and Randy Orton really ever done a program in a while, or done a match, done a thing in a while? When's the last time those two guys got together? Because that's two big names. They have nothing else to do that I know of, unless I'm wrong. Why not put Randy Orton and Brock Lesnar together? For whatever reason. So. I guess off the top of my head, unless I'm forgetting how something else is going to happen. I mean, oh, yes, Brock and Gunther. Yeah, that's true. That's a great point. Yeah, you can do Brock and Gunther to help Gunther, right? Has Brock Lesnar ever had the Intercontinental Championship? Because if Brock Lesnar has never won the Intercontinental Championship, then you got your story right there where, where Brock is like, I'm coming for I'm coming for a belt I've never won. You know I'm gonna take that belt. I never got it. That sort of thing. So, if Brock Lesnar has not ever won the Intercontinental Championship, which I don't think he has, you know Brock is like, I I want to say that I had it all, and you've got you've got a belt that I never had. And quite honestly, it's because I'm just not, it's not in my league. I'm so far above it, you know, but I see it means so much to you 
and I love taking things from people, you know, that sort of thing. I mean, I wouldn't bury the belt that much, but you know what I mean? Something along the lines of I've never, you know, I never had a chance at this belt because I was always competing for world titles. So, um, for the world title and, you know, this is an important belt and everybody, every major star has usually held this belt. And, uh, Brock Lesnar should hold this belt too. Randy Orton versus LA Knight. That's not a bad idea. Brock versus Gunther. And if Seth Rollins is injured, we'll see what happens there. But um, that would really suck for Seth Rollins. If Seth Rollins were to miss WrestleMania this year, when this WrestleMania is going to be so big and full of people, do you know what I mean? Super chat party. Super chat party from Preya. Joe, I love your sign, the NDA song. Please play that song now. I All want right. to hear it. I need to hear it. I love to hear it. Prayesh Muhumdar, um, my friend in India. Thank you, Prayesh. What up, dude? By the way, Prayesh, I love Prayesh's. Prayesh is really good. I like his songs. His he's got all these songs, bro. It's it's awesome. Um I um I've enjoyed it, Prayesh. But okay. Sign the NDA. We're going to play it. We sort of did it in the spirit of Jimmy Buffett. So let's go ahead and let's cue up that song for uh, Prayesh Muhumdar. And we got more news. We haven't even gotten into so much because I've been stuck with all this drama about my daughter's uh, birthday gifts getting here. So, uh, what a miracle that they arrived, bro. They must have messed up the thing. We'll be right back. It's the Tony Khan Sign That NDA song. Sign my NDA. Look at that face. Please. 
gets hurt every day. But AW is the safest place. We sold out Wembley, but we got too many belts. Too many shows, which one are we on? I can never tell. It's okay to stay closet gay. Come over here, daddy ass, and scissor me. And hey, by the way, could you sign this NDA? Sign it, please, for me. Sign this NDA. single by Jimmy Buffett Beyond the Grave Tony Khan signed this NDA signed his NDA he's got a lot of NDAs uh, a lot of Chris Jericho people have been talking about how Chris even Chris Jericho has a lot of NDAs to go around but we love Chris Jericho on this show so listen we're just gonna we're gonna give nothing but love to Chris Jericho because we we love uh, we love ourselves some Chris Jericho. So. We love it. Chris, uh, Seth Rollins might be injured, though, so we're awaiting that MRI, uh, MRI word if we if that comes out or not. I would, I would hope it's going to come out regardless if he's okay or not okay, but... I don't know. What, I don't know. Who knows if, if we're going to get word on that, news on that right away, or if they're going to hold that in or we're going to have to guess, or if it's going to seem like he's all right and he will be all right. But unless we get a confirmation from a credible news source uh, or some kind of credible report, I mean, it's going to be kind of like people are going to have some anxiety if you're a Rollins fan going forward until we find out exactly what the hell is going on with this potential injury because it's it's pretty rough it seems like um Rebby hardy shuts down fan criticizing her for posting personal issues we don't even know what the personal issues are we don't know what's even going on with Rebby hardy we just know that she's posting photos of her in an edge shirt Talking about his edge, his tip of his edge or whatever. It's just weird rubbing herself in an edge t-shirt. I know that, you know, Rojas went in on a tangent about this the other day, and, he, and he's kind of right. Unless Matt Hardy's in on this, or this is some kind of whatever, it is kind of weird, man. Like, I, I just know, I, all I know is if I didn't cheat on my, if I didn't cheat on my wife, and we didn't have some agreement that, hey, hey, do crazy shit to get attention. Who cares? Like, I'm, I'm down. Do whatever you want. I'm cool. Let people talk. It's funny. Now, unless that's what's happening, if, if Leah was like, I'm just mad at you for whatever reason, I'm going to go wear my ex-boyfriend, like, a T-shirt with him on it that says, should have banged, should have married him or something. Like, I am not going to be okay with that, probably. Right? Like, I'm going to say something or whatever. 
So I don't if I don't know. I just don't know what's going the fuck on. It's very weird. But they like they've got to want this attention or she's nuts. I don't know which what of those three it is. I forget when it is that I don't remember where it is that Rojas went on like a rant about it. By the way, Hulk Hogan tried to help someone out of a car fire the other day or something. Well, <laughs> it's very interesting. We'll talk about that. But um, where is the stream from the other day? Because it was something Rojas kind of went in on it, and it was. I had thoughts on it too, but it was you know he was. I'd say more animated about it. I don't remember if it was. It might have been monetized. This I'm not a hundred percent, but we were playing the Rebby Hardy like. We're playing the clips of Rebby Hardy the other day, and. Like it's just her like in the this the shirt of of edge and it's just very weird it's like i get it, again if, if there's some kind of agreement that, that she's going to do shocking crazy stuff and have a good time and try to gain tiktok followers and that's the goal like hey let's work everybody fuck it like i'm like who who isn't down for that oh here it is here it is who isn't down for that small we are live on the Joe Cronin Show Marathon that's going on right now. Telethon, marathon, whatever you want to call it. Uh, we are trying to raise the funds to pay all the bills. As 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 we speak, ladies and gentlemen. So uh, feel free to drop a super chat, which don't count, but I'll, I'll count them in in a minute. Super chats. Or use Streamlabs pinned to the top of your chat right now. I'm going as long and as hard as I can, baby, today. 77 of 1,000. We are marching our way to the fundraiser goal for this channel of $77 towards 1,000. Streamlabs.com slash Evil Spectrum 11111. That's how you get into it. But I found the clip, so let's let's hear this. And what really? do you think the best era of the Dolphins was? I'm just curious to hear your um. Your... I write Finkel. That was a bunch of his songs anyway. So I think, I think it's obviously something horrible. Something like I just think it's a dysfunctional relationship. You, I mean, I don't really know too much about them, but from what I got from you is that she does this type of stuff all the time, where she just kind of seems like a bitch, and uh, you know, no matter what problems you're having in the relationship you shouldn't be saying hey uh, i kind of want to go fuck that guy who um ruined your other relationship that you had with uh with lita and it, like it's just a scummy thing to do and you know unless and if he is cheating on her then why not just you know divorce him why do you I don't know bring what's it going on fans to shame and humiliate him? this is so you know weird I mean? like, dude believe our women. The, look at the tiktok it also says on the tiktok when matt hardy does me dirty for the last time what did he do you dirty? Get you a big fucking house? We don't house? know, man. We don't know what what he, apparently he's done been doing or done stuff to her recently that she's not happy about, but she's saying it in a vague way everywhere and it's making everybody speculate like crazy. And then whatever then, he did, whatever he did, they should be able to work out as a couple or if not then they separate. You didn't you're going online. You don't see Matt Hardy I going did. online shitting on her. She's going online to his fans humiliating him, shaming him as a man. I mean, yeah, it's one thing to do that in private, like argue like be nasty in arguments in private. But to bring out and like air out shit about somebody and say that, oh yeah, I kind of oh, maybe I want to fuck Edge. Like it's just a horrible, nasty, like manipulative yeah, I really, thing to do. Yeah, I don't 100%, get it. I think Matt Hardy should put her in a crippler cross face and uh, put the dogs in the garage. Oh, see, yeah. that's what I'm worried. Yeah. Like this is weird, man. I don't know, dude. They're, they've had some weird fights before. I mean, but like they've got all the kids. Like they seem happy. And other right. like there's other videos from the same time period. Where everything's fine, but it's just like, and so I don't know if this is just like their humor. He like thought they, everything was fine with OJ. He was a uh, nice guy. <laughs> then I killed that bitch. I killed a white bitch and got away with it. What are you gonna do about it, motherfucker? If I did it. If I did it. If I did. Maybe I did. If maybe I did. Maybe I did. Maybe. Maybe. Well, if, gonna, maybe if you maybe think Charlie I did it, you're, to do it, you're racist. How about that? It, maybe even if I did do it, my, you're racist. Maybe my Charlie. imaginary friend Charlie told me to do it. I don't know. Charlie, maybe Charlie I'll kill you. What? It sounds what? like Sean's view. OJ sounds like Sean's view? Yeah. OJ Simpson sounds like Sean's view? You sound like a retard. How about that? 
Somebody dick comes up in the demon. Yeah, that's but not. Charo, that ain't how so I sound, many... motherfucker. You, you asshole, monkey looking motherfucker. Suck my asshole. Listen here, you. You're supposed to rhyme while you're talking. No, that I ain't doing a Sean's view. You stupid well, cracker black. ass motherfucker. He's black. He's supposed to rap. Why am I supposed no, to rap? Joke, Fuck man. Sean's view. Hope he dies like your family, motherfucker. You're a fucking asshole, Bacharo. I'll kill oh, you yeah, like I killed the... Nicole. You cracker ass motherfucker. Like him. How was that? You said uh, he was rapping because he's black. That's I, I fucked say, up, I dude. I said rhyme. I said rhyme. Mm, bet you did, you honky-ass bitch. Dude, listen, we're ushering in a new era of monetize this. All right, A uh, 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 right. era where everybody can get along he's and positive. everybody doesn't feel in like, you know, I was getting doesn't along. feel ostracized, doesn't feel like they're being attacked. Like, I want a safe environment for monetize this and you're really you, bringing I, that safety um, down by attacking not, making these stereotypes i mean that's fucked up pacharo you're not making it safe right now i feel threatened good one pacharo who are you yeah fucking tony khan over there yeah, no, uh, my yeah, life was <laughs> endangered on monetize this <laughs> dude so well, my life actually has been in danger on monetize this when I drank shampoo, so you're right. This guy that, drank dude, did shampoo. Did you shit pretty well, or something? I I don't think it really affected me that much. I mean, more than silky. It tasted bad. Mm. Oh shit! What time is it? It oh, is. Okay, it's only got... eleven twenty-four. We're not at midnight. Luke will open the monetize this championship that he received. It's gonna be great on Joe, video. Did you see the video I sent you on Twitter? Please. It, no. It, is it of you and underage people again? No. Okay. No. Not this time. No. 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 What, 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 did, what, did, what did you now, What did you send Mr. me, Mr. Bacharo? Mr. Bacharo, we Mr. we Bacharo. found your fingerprints and your DNA at the crime scene. There, there were several children that were mm -hmm. murdered. Oh. No. Oh, well, I'm I'm no. home all day, so there's no way I went. No. Out there. I'm home all day. Like, how did I leave the house? I like how Pacharo just did, like like he was just basically in that clip. Pacharo was, uh, you know, kind of tricked. He goes, I'm home all day. I never go anywhere. Did he just say that? I'm pretty sure he just said, I'm home all day. I never go anywhere. So Pacharo just, like, admitted, like, he's a freakazoid loser. Listen to that. No. 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 What, did, what, did, what, did you, now, what did you send Mr. me? Mr. Pacharo, Mr. Pacharo, we, Mr. we Pacharo. found your fingerprints and your DNA at the crime scene. There, there were several to this. children that were mm -hmm. murdered. Oh. No, oh, well, I'm I'm no. home all day, so there's no way I went. No, out there. I'm home all day. Like, how did I leave the house? I never, le <laughs> I never leave the house. I'm home all day. So right there, that's crazy. So he's home all day. So I'm doubting he. I'm doubting, like very much, that he has a job anymore. Because he said right there, I'm home all day and I never leave the house. And he is always messaging me throughout the day, constantly, always some like watching everything and whatever. So, so, up the Diablo Four uh, news today for season three. So, like, basically, you know, I mean, Pacharo told on himself right there. So, so yeah, good job, Bachar, you stupid idiot. I went on X to find out if there was any more news about the Seth Rollins stuff to see if anything is coming out anywhere. Like, I have been looking through all the sites, all the little news blasts, everybody. I just, I don't see anything for Seth Rollins. And for all we know, he doesn't have the MRI yet. So it's like, oh, he send him to go have an MRI. It might not be till, maybe it's not till days from now. So, I'm not really sure. I'm still looking now and I just don't, I don't see any, uh, I don't see any new news. I'm going to look around, see if there's any other possible, just, you know, we, we've been over it a couple of times in various different ways here today. 
but I don't know if anybody else has any more news to it. But it, it, it could be a big injury. Like I said, I'm worried about an MCL-ACL tear. I'm worried that it's a tear. They're going to see it, and they're going to be like, yikes, you can't compete with that. That's a problem. And, dude, that throws that throws a lot off, man. This guy was going to be in the, the, the second, third, or fourth most important thing at Mania, somewhere in that category. And if he's hurt, uh, and if he's hurt, by the way, I'm hoping that he can somehow have a Mania match still or that he can put the belt on somebody else before Mania by getting rolled up or by some kind of story thing happening and that he just won't just disappear. That is so weird. My daughter just spilt Pepsi in the PC upstairs that I built for her a long time ago, and this video just came up 16 minutes ago. That is so fucking bizarre. That is so bizarre. The, one of the biggest PC channels there is just uploaded that. Like, I have to text this to Brenna. I have to text my daughter. This is because <laughs> I have it like, what the hell? Where's where's I gotta send this to Leah too. That is so weird. That is so weird. Like what the hell? That is so bizarre. What, what the fuck are the odds of this? Like, what the hell, bro? That is so strange. Um, but yeah, so let's let's see if we can find any other information on this uh Seth Rollins situation. I mean, I'm concerned. I'm concerned. Mm. Dallas got spanked. The Dallas game was a surprise. Um, what happened the other night to the Eagles was kind of a surprise and I just, I'm shocked. Let's hear, um, no, yeah, nobody's really got anything on this. I was looking for more info on the Seth Rollins stuff and nobody really has anything on it. There's not even a lot of news videos or stories on it today. Like, not even a lot of people are talking about it. I'm shocked that there's not more news on Seth Rollins. This is a big problem. This, this is like a problem. Let's see what K-Dog had to say about this. How about Oh, maybe this is about something. Um, okay, so... This is uh, keeping it 100. Maybe they're talking about... Um, oh, this is about CM Punk. Well, let's hear, let's hear what it is. What did you send me? Was Bishop greetings on some of your shows? Bishop has come on and buried Punk. I don't hate Punk. I just feel if you put the title on him now, it'll kill the locker room. Appreciate everything he brings. My question: Should he get a title at Mania or wait till SummerSlam? Just don't want a repeat of AEW Punk. Definitely, definitely the booking has been great. Just want to know thoughts. Just hoping putting belt on Punk will divide. Who cares at this point? If I don't even care right now, if Cody has a belt, CM Punk has a belt, I don't care. I'm at I'm at the point where I don't care about belts anymore right now. It's not the it's not the end of the world if the guy I think should have the belt has the belt. What the end of the world is is if the weekly show isn't must see TV. I want the weekly show to be must see TV. That's what I want. I don't even care about who the champions are. I want the show to entertain me. That's my fucking problem. That's my problem. At locker room, if you're ever in Philly. Gino's has the best cheesesteaks. Interesting. Joe lives in Philly, but you're here saying that Gino's. We'll, we'll debate this in a minute. Sincerely, Anthony Hunt. P.S. Chicky and Pete's has the best crab fries. Gino's is the best for cheese cheesesteaks. Let's start with that, Joe. Um, Gino's for cheesesteaks. Yeah, yes I, no? Anthony's a regular. He's a Philly guy. I like his emails, but Gino's is like when you go to a town and you're not from the town and you go to the tourist place. For a cheesesteak. Who cares? I hate fuck Philly. Commercial restaurants, but it's they're definitely the food's not. 
as good as other places. Do you, know, do you know how many dead husbands there are in Philadelphia the other night? Do you know how many people went out and killed somebody all because of the Eagles the other night? Probably too much to count, right? Oh, the Phillies! And they just melt into cheese shit. That's what happened in Philly. Places. What about Chickie yeah. and Pete's for the best crab fries? They're they're good. I mean, they kind right. of originated there, but everybody makes them now. It's really just fries with Old Bay. You know, it's not. Right. not so, hard. I want to make right. a statement here. Super chat party. Loved it. Thanks for playing, Joe. It's eleven thirty p.m. here in India. I can sleep well now. It's oh. a great song. Tony Khan has definitely heard it as well. Do you think so? If like well, if he heard it, I'd probably be blocked. I'm assuming. Um, I really like to. I I like Tony Khan. I do like him. I love. I like AEW still. I wanna. I wanna do better things with AEW. Give me a call, Tony Khan. Love to help. Love Tony Khan and AEW. But give me a call. I'll help out. Um, Prayesh Muhammadar, man, have a good night. Shout out to India. We have a few listeners in India for sure. Um, so have a good night, guys. You're not that far away from all the fireworks that are going on over in uh, Iran, Iraq right now. Stay safe. Actually, you're pretty far from it for the most part, but you know what I mean. Closer than I am. Kind of. Thank you, sir. Back to the uh, clip. I'm sorry. Back to the clip. Play the clip again. Here about punk, I, I've actually been critical of punk in, in the past for, for a while because, like, I, I said it was – it was most the extreme case of delusion I'd ever seen when, when he thought he could go win a UFC fight. But, and I was kind of critical of Punk that they shouldn't bring back, but I've always been... He could take a punch, though. That Punk absolutely has a drawing fan base that he brings to the show and the ratings are up when he's on. You cannot ignore that, right? So whatever they do with him is like, he's going to bring fans and eyeballs to the project. I don't, bro, I don't, I don't care if they... Like, this guy's worried, should he win the belt? I don't, I don't care. I just want him to be in a compelling storyline that exactly. catches my interest on a weekly basis because he's good on the mic. Exactly. Like, Disco Inferno just said exactly what I said. I don't care who gets the belt as long as the week-to-week story is awesome. And so far, it's not really been awesome. It's been all right. It's not really good. It's not been really good or memorable at all. So I want a week-to-week story that's good. Give me a week-to-week story that's awesome, memorable, good, fun. That's what we want. Who cares who has what belt? Because I won't be watching no matter who the champion is if it keeps boring me like it has been. That's the problem. It's You know what I mean? I am live on a Tuesday because I didn't go to work today because I didn't have gas money to get to work. So we're doing the live stream. If you want to donate, streamlabs.com slash evil spectrum one 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 one. The link to that is pinned to the top of the chat, or you can super chat or become a member, but that is the best way. But you can super chat too. Or you stream elements down below. Stream elements is down there if you gotta use a uh, wrestling uh, you gotta use a credit card. You gotta use a credit card, go down there. So let's well, let's continue the clip. But basically, it sounds like Disco agrees with me. I agree with him. Give us the compelling stories. Who gives a shit who the champion is? You know what I'm saying? So I'm, Tony, what do you think about that? Yeah, I would agree with what you're saying. Um, the only thing is, and I we answered it, I answered this before on the mailbag, let him prove himself to the boys in the company. Giving it to him would be too quick, and I don't think it would be good for morale. What's another year of redeeming yourself? You know, showing good faith and the chase. Um, now, what's the other place that's by Geno's that they were? The, uh, Pats. Joe? Pats. They're Pats. across the street from each other. Pat yeah. Gino. <laughs> Pat. You so like... you go to Geno or Pat? Uh, that's a big. Right. That's and a boy, big they're feud. literally, I, I they're literally, literally think... right in front of each other. Okay. I I literally think of like when I think of Geno's, I'm literally envisioning. Like 1985, Gino Hernandez is behind the counter, like a like a pretty boy guy. You know, hey, let me make yeah. some food. Yeah, get the. You want a cheese steak? Right. What do you want a cheese? Yeah. And on, and then across the street, I literally envision Pat Kenny with his Yankee hat on, 
and like he's arguing right. with the people when they come in because they're Philly fans. Right. He's like, yeah, well, you, hey, Pastor, I'm a Yankee fan, right? But that's the that's the visual picture I get when I think of Geno's and Pats. Is that kind of is it is it close to accurate, Joe? The guys that work there, absolutely, yes, absolutely, yeah. yeah. But <laughs> and, uh, yeah, and, yeah, and then Tony Luke's <laughs> is the one that's down near the arena. That's another well-known one. But you, you just got to go into the neighborhood and find you'll find some hidden gems. If like I had managed, Joe, if I managed to come to, to Philly for WrestleMania weekend, uh, I would like to go to Pat's and I would also like to go to Geno's. And I would yeah, like to, uh, I want to do what they do, like like the the Portnoy does, with one the, the, oh. the pizza test. test. Yep. Yep. I'll go into Pat's and I'll take a bite out of the cheese stick and I'll go to Geno's and take a bite of the cheese stick and rate them. And, and, then, and maybe I could actually do it with Pat and Geno right there. And but, if I choose, see if we, we could get some physicality out of it. And you know? if uh, if I make it known to the staff there, if they don't recognize you, you might get a, a snapshot taken and put up on the Wall of Fame where they put all the wrestlers and athletes. Yeah. Yeah. So pretty much, you know, like I, I'm in agreement with that. That it's like, you know, just like just give us entertaining weekly stories. That's what everybody really wants. And we'll continue talking about this Matt Hardy, Rebby Hardy situation, you know, as well, because there's just so, there's just so weird. I'm going to look at some of her posts, and we're going to talk about this. There's some other posts that we, we could take a look at here, and we're trying to decipher what in the hell is going on with Matt Hardy and Rebby Hardy, and we're going to do that in just a second. Joe Cronin Show, um, day-long stream, fundraiser, Streamlabs, link up top, Super Chat membership. We're doing them all today. Come member down below. Also, we need you guys to click that like button and more. We're not done. We're going to – we got a lot more. Spin the wheel now, you stupid ass. Every time a commentator, every time a commentator says, "Remember, both feet have to touch the floor uh, in go. order for him to be eliminated," <laughs> you take a you take a drink for that, and then you take a shot for every time you see somebody do the Shawn Michaels spot. Oh. We're gonna, uh, King well, maybe not a shot, but a drink. You know what I'm talking about? Every time they Shawn say Michaels Stone Cold spot. was the only three time winner, he was shot. That one too. That one too, but I'm I'm saying um the Shawn Michaels spot where you're like you know where he's hanging on from the ropes and he's like ah like Ziggler by the way Ziggler oh, would do like... that in every Royal Rumble 15 times a match he would just be like oh I'm gonna fall nobody yeah. cares you're not gonna win <laughs> so nobody his cares butt, his ass out like right over the apron it was ugh. Um, remember when they had him? Remember when they had him beat Sheamus in a kiss my arse match, and then he ended up still kissing Sheamus's arse. That was I jerked one off of the low to point. it. Ugh. That doesn't surprise me. Actually. <laughs> I, I cringed, and then I was like, "Yeah, that's something Luke might do." Yeah, uh, that's um, something. Well, crazy Luke, the champ. The champ does some crazy things. Hey, speaking of being the champ, we've got less than an hour before I get to finally open the box of destiny that has my championship belt and i want to see I'm really tears man excited. tears I, I, will, see tears. I will read you my poem uh which is titled ode to luke's championship and uh, i think i think you're gonna like it a lot luke i think uh, i want to read i mean if you want to read it now go ahead i mean i don't well um I'm going to wait till till you un undo the boxing because I think that's the most appropriate time. I'm hoping okay. that Joe actually sent you <clears> – It would. I'm not hoping this. It would be really funny if Joe sent you, like, an equally weighed amount of shit Jerks. or, like, dirty diapers <laughs> or something. And it's not <laughs> like he measured, yeah, like he put it on a scale, like, oh, <laughs> yep, yeah, and he even weighed it with his title. Yeah. Exactly, exactly. I I'm hoping that's what happened only for comedy – sakes i don't think that's what happened but well, he uh, said there's only he said there's only one belt in there which kind of annoyed me because i did say like for a couple of weeks now like send both belts send both belts and uh so he's only sending me i or send it bleh, he only sent me one belt i hope it's the new one because i don't want uh bobbit's tit title to be quite, I mean, I know both of them laid on a, at one point Leah's Leah's tits, which uh, you know, yes, lovely jubblies, as they say. Um, but they kind of can't each know, other out. Yeah, I don't want to think about you know, like a dead guy. Yeah, his dead tit, his dead tit dust is one of the few remnants of DNA that still exist. 
I really do. Though. By the way, I kind of like do feel bad sometimes. Like I, but by, by like all kidding aside, I do feel bad that Bobbit died. Um, it's just, it's just what I find funny about it because I know I've seen some people be like, "That's not fucking funny, dude." He's a dead. Like you're making fun of someone dying. Like no, it's just hilarious <laughs> to think that this comedic character that we like, oh Bobby or, or not Bobby, sorry, but Blob it, whatever the fuck, Blo- Bob it, Bob you know. It. The fat guy with his tits, he would do that with the belt. It's just like really, really insane to think, oh yeah, he died. Like it's it's comedic in a sense of like it's so unexpected. I don't know how to explain it, but I'm not making fun of the fact that he died. Like I'm sure he was a nice dude. Um, you know, just because he had a falling out with the show, like 95% of all former champions did, does not mean he deserved to die. So yeah, he was a yeah. nice dude. Uh, this is the eulogy of Bobbit. There is uh, fried chicken in the back. Uh, help yourself, people. Um, uh, no, Bobbit was a good dude. Uh, Ooh, I'll be right back. Yeah, <laughs> like it's gonna be insane and when watermelon. you find out. Like when you find out one of these days that I've died. You know how many people are gonna just shit on me? <laughs> like, yeah. like I, literally, I, I, I'll have the most like horrific, drawn out death too. Like I was like a sick with cancer for like years, <laughs> and I fucking lost my battle. And you know, people are gonna be like, "Oh, Wawa Pizza, R.I.P." Yeah. Catering <laughs> by Wawa. Yeah, and just finally, no sympathy finally whatsoever. The, <laughs> finally, the Wawa turkey got to him. Uh, I would, no, I would right. like to hope that there would be at least a few people on this call that would actually get choked well, up. Like, well, what? What's a uh, pizza? I'm, I'm kind of hungry. Oh, it's badass. Dude, Tommy's what's a, Did you just ask hours. what's pizza? Did you like you? No, don't no. Know what's, what's, what's no, a, what is no, a pizza? No, no, no. What, what's Wawa pizza? <sighs> Well, if you didn't know, listen. Wawa based on the based pizza. on the circumference of your neck, there's no way you don't know. Oh fuck you, Joe! You just you and your shitheads keep falling. I mean, Joe, he's just asking a question. And Tommy, Wawa has pizza now. Um, you can get it in a large, a medium, a small. You can get it with pepperoni, sausage. You can get all that. You know what you also can get at Wawa is that you can get you can get pretty much any size coffee above 12 ounces. You can get any size coffee for just $2.13, which in some states might seem insane, and other states might seem equally insane, but in a like a way like, oh, that's cheap or oh, that's expensive. But yeah, it's two thirteen right now for just a a size sixteen, twenty or twenty four ounce coffee, and this not message, only that, Luke, not, I gotta uh, say shut thing. the fuck up, uh, Tommy. I'm I fucking gotta say, funny. fuck you. I need to talk real quick, Luke. Joe, Tommy, I got Joe the show. Donated. No, fuck you, asshole. Joe got the show sponsored donated. by fuck Wawa. You, I got the show sponsored by Wawa, and you I have to give the fuck. Sponsored by plug. your mom. Fuck you. I'm trying to you talk to Joe. Fuck you. That's, that's, that's real <laughs> mature. That's real Joe's mature to say. Donate me two fifty so I can buy some pizza. You know what? Your wife, your mom, your mom, fucking. Don't talk about my mom. She's a whore. Ooh, man. Oh, oh, I fuck your mom. Wow. I'm your, I fucked your mom with my 12 inch your mother weighs the, not, your mother weighs, your mother weighs the same you. way a fucking menorah <laughs> truck weighs, and it fucking probably <laughs> smells the way. Uh, you know why I fucked up my joke? <laughs> oh, my God. It's my birthday. The Bep Jr. Tommy wins that one. He wins. Finally, Tommy wins something. 38 months. Tommy, why you have so much trolls in your live streams? Thank you, Bep Jr., for becoming a member. That's uh, 38 months in a row, baby. Thank you. Why do you blame him for it, Tommy? Because it's his cronies. It's his fucking fans. You, you, for, did you forget Leafy was part of the whole thing? Well, fuck Leafy. He's dead, I think. He mm. dead. You know who else is dead? Well, his channel is. No, fuck you, Joe. Half the people you love. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> oh fuck you, Joe. <laughs> hey, you know who else is dead? I'm, I'm, I'm going to probably hop off the show. All right, hey, Tommy, Tommy, why don't well, you hop you know. off the building, too? Oh, Better yet, Tommy, hop Tommy. off a tree with a noose around your neck. Same way that uh, your oh, grandfather you, used dickhead. to hang blacks. I'm going to oh. have your mom hop on me. Well, Tommy, Tommy look at oh, that. Shit. Oh, shit. Yeah, hey, but going. you know what? You know what? Hey, Tommy, you know who's not having anybody hop on anyone or on their lap? You know who that it's is? You, dickhead. You. No, you're dead barber. <laughs> you're dead barber. Oh, 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 oh. 
Oh, Tommy. Oh, my God. The champ oh. retains. The champ retains, motherfucker. <laughs> Got hey, out. speaking of which, you know what? I don't have, I, I, I can't open up my new title just yet. It's not, you know, sitting with me right now, but I'm going to go get the old title and I'm going to go also, I have to go take a shit to be quite honest with you. Go to Wawa, clean bathrooms. we has got to go jump into a Alabama Bass Pro Shop Aquarium real fast, naked. <laughs> Hey, Joe, did you notice that the Patriots are coached by Mayo and owned by Kraft? Yeah, there's quite the – there's a weird afternoon lunch going on over at the Patriots now. Gerard yeah, Mayo. White. Like a ham or no, something. No, no, Gerard's black. No. So, Well, by the way, the, in the I, I didn't know there was a rule in the NFL, but you have to, you have to interview like two yeah. minorities before anything else or whatever. So it's called the Rooney rule. That's – it should be called the racist rule, but um, – yeah. They, uh, but anyway, so the Patriots just surpassed all that and said, well, fuck it, hire a black guy, you know. But uh, Gerard Mayo, listen, the weird thing about this is that, listen, when Bill Belichick came to the Patriots, he was he was the defensive coordinator, you know, he was working on the defense. They went to a Super Bowl under Bill Belichick on, working on the defense, and then he got promoted to head coach after a while. And this is after proving a whole lot of shit, you know, Bill Belichick. But Gerard Mayo, man, I mean, this guy's been an assistant coach for like what a cu- a year or two, and the guy played, and yeah, that's it. That's this like, I mean, I hope he's you need when, well. I hope he's you know. good because my God, bro, this guy is not anything like. Because someone was like, "Well, it's just like Belichick; they promoted from within," and I'm like, "No, I don't think so." But may I mean, but peep the players like Gerard Mayo, and he's good. What? Whatever they need, like an offensive coordinator named Lettuce or Turkey or something. That's what they yeah, need. Yeah, Bill Belichick went to the Super Bowl four times or three times before he was a Patriots coach. Right. So well, it's like, he went there when he was the he went there as a Patriots coach as a when he wasn't the coach under Parcells. Yeah. Right. Yeah. His Browns well, coach for a day. That didn't uh, go so well. But, but he was also yeah, but he, he did well uh, when the Browns Brown went. But uh, yeah, listen. Um, I don't know, but I like people like Mayo. I know that people really like the guy, and I like the guy. Yeah, so people like mustard too. People like Miracle Whip. Oh, God. Kind of like, Imagine if you get a guy like named Whip. You, you meet a, a white family whose last name is Black, or like you meet yeah. a black family whose last name is like white. Barry White. <laughs> yeah, it's like how did that happen? Hey Barry, Barry, right? <laughs> Somebody played a sick joke in their genealogy. Um, hey, speaking of that, did y'all see that white uh, basketball player in high school who's going viral because his last name is the N word? Yeah. Oh, I, mean, I did see that. How does that happen? How does like what? A N. That's what I'm saying, dude. Yeah. This is this can't be a, like a coincidence. This is this is a maybe it is, this is a conspiracy afoot. Maybe it is. I, I maybe just, it is a coincidence. Why don't they just? I mean, you got to change your name like immediately, right? Right? Like, I'm like even even it's pronounced different though. But you don't see I mean, I don't like, care what it is. Why should like, they change their name? Why should they change their name? Because society has changed its rules. I know. I I get it. I don't know, but I don't know. A lot of Germans yeah, changed I mean, their he, last names. To because, be fair, he, he he shouldn't have to change it because I mean, white people did make the word. So I mean. Well, if he does a 23 and me and it comes out any percent black, does that give him the N word pass or does he already have it? Mm. Already to be it. fair, we didn't we to be fair, we didn't really make the word cuz it's like Spanish for black. So, you know, I guess we did make the like the official like n- can't say it unfortunately even in discussion. Um Well, the but, Spanish word is different. I mean, that's you know well, let's blame that's the Spaniards. Yeah, but that's if we can. yeah, I mean, but that's what we that's what they used to get called more than anything. Like, oh, you get out of here, neat. Mm. Dol- Dolph Ziggler and yeah. Dana Brooke are in TNA. Uh, Mercedes is in the house at TNA apparently, and Jack Perry is in New Japan, where he just ripped up his AEW contract in the middle of Dana New Brooke Japan. Also. Nobody cared. Nobody cared. He did this. Nobody cared. Yeah, now he can go. Now he can go. Now he can go wrestle tic tac click clack and fucking yeah. Have a forty-seven match minute match with him. I mean, they do a bunch of fucking. I don't. I got a conspiracy here. I I don't think this is Jack Perry ripping up his AEW contract. I think this is 
Jack Perry ripping up CM Punk's contract. Like, ha ah, <laughs> I got rid of him. There it goes. I got rid of him. He's My- not here anymore. Now he's in the in the bigger company making more money and uh, probably having a more interesting feud than he was going to have with anybody else on the roster in uh-huh. AEW. Because I, I honestly, I feel like in AEW, CM Punk, while it was cool to see him, like, oh my God, he's wrestling. I didn't want to see him feud with anybody, even with them. Like, I guess besides MJF, but there was like so many people for him to feud in WWE and still are. So it's like, oh yeah, it's, it's CM Punk, but he's going to have basically no rivalries. <laughs> right. Yeah. Jack Perry, uh, knock, knock. Who's there? Oh, uh, everybody cares about my father and CM Punk and I'm neither. Like Jack Perry looks like every vape shop worker I've ever run into. You know, the Young Bucks really are pricks. I just look at them and I'm like, they look like fucking assholes. I've been thinking of that for years, but now it's I know, but it's just so obvious. It's just, it's so obvious. It's ridiculous. Jack Perry, Jack Perry looks like Pacharo, but with facial hair. Jack Perry looks oh, like a baby that shouldn't have been born. Like He looks like Luke Rojas. What? Wait, what? Jack Perry a good looks like one. A, a smaller version. The of Dolphins have been Luke eliminated Rojas. from the playoffs. One Pacharo. This was a terrible Jeez. game. Five injuries. Yeah, they got Horrible fucked. Game. There was terrible football today. Like, it was not a good day. Like, they, oh, these oh, games wow. sucked. Hey, Pacharo. Yeah. Uh... What do you think that the Dolphins need to do? Get a new quarterback. Um, Ooh. Dan Marino. Uh-huh. He's got brain damage. Two us too, too, too small. Ooh, and what really? do you think the best era of the Dolphins was? I'm just curious to hear your... Um, your... No one's going to get better than that. Oh, yeah, obviously. Obviously. Well, yeah, they had Dan Marino, too. But I think the best shoot. season for the Dolphins was the season that Dan Marino um, cheerleaders in the back and nobody ever said anything. <laughs> That was the best. Yeah, what do you have which, to say about which, that, Which Pacharo? one of the 20 well, seasons was, it's just different was that? Time. It was a different time, so everyone gets when away he, with it. When he got kidnapped uh, by Ray Finkel, that was the best season. Joe, <laughs> Joe see, like, yeah, Joe, listen. It, I mean, yeah, he did rape people, but oh. it was a different time, so it's okay. Right. It was a different time. And um, Dolph Ziggler. Yeah, I mean, you, rape, was, rape was legal back then. Was it? Mm-hmm. Well, according to Pacharo, well, I mean, I I know that as long as there were kids and your name was Michael Jackson, it was all right. But I don't know about anybody else. I mean, maybe uh, Pacharo yeah, still thinks what? it's legal. I have to pretend that's not real, but no, yeah, I, not. I, I don't know what Michael Jackson did, but I pretend he didn't do anything because I can't. I gotta listen to him, you know. So I just listen to Michael Jackson. I pretend that he didn't do anything, and that's it. You gotta listen to. Him. I mean, honestly, I'm not really that big of a. I don't really listen to much of his songs anyway, so. Noah can hoop. Think, Joe, he was chemically ca- castrated. Can I get your take? I... Let me get your take again on Rebby Hardy, um, Matt Hardy's wife, posting pictures of her wearing a T-shirt of the man who cheated on uh, Matt Hardy's ex, cheated on him with, and now his wife is wearing his T-shirt in TikTok videos, acting bizarre. I mean, I think. I think it's obviously something horrible. Something like I just think it's a dysfunctional relationship. You, I mean, I don't really know too much about them, but from what I got from you is that she does this type of stuff all the time, where she just kind of seems like a bitch. And uh, you know, no matter what problems you're having in the relationship, you shouldn't be saying, "Hey, uh, I kind of want to go fuck that guy who um, ruined your other relationship that you had with uh, with Lita." And it, like it's just a scummy thing to do, and you know unless and if he is cheating on her, then why not just you know divorce him? Why do you? I don't know bring what's going on. Fans to shame and humiliate him. This is so you know weird, I mean? dude. Like, our women. The, look at the TikTok. It also says on the TikTok when Matt Hardy does me dirty for the last time. What did he do you dirty? Get you a big fucking? We house? don't know, man. We don't know what what he, apparently he's done been doing or done stuff to her recently. That she's not happy about, but she's saying it in a vague way everywhere, and it's making everybody speculate like crazy. And then whatever then it- he did, whatever he did, they should be able to work out as a couple, or if not, then they separate. You didn't. You're going online. You don't see Matt Hardy I going did. online shitting on her. She's going online to his fans, humiliating him, shaming him as a man. I mean, yeah, it's one thing to do that in private, like argument, like be nasty in arguments in private. 
But to bring out and like air out shit about somebody and say that, oh yeah, I kind of, oh maybe I want to fuck Edge, like it's just a horrible, nasty, like manipulative yeah, I really, thing to do. Yeah, I don't 100%. Get it. I think Matt Hardy should put her in a crippler cross face and uh, put the dogs in the garage. Oh, see, that's what I'm worried. Yeah. Like, this is weird, man. I don't know, dude. They're, they've had some weird fights before. I mean, but like they've got all the kids like they seem happy and other right. like there's other videos from the same time period where everything's fine. But it's just like and so I don't know if this is just like their humor. Like they, everything was fine with OJ. He was a uh, nice guy. <laughs> then I killed that bitch. I killed a white bitch and got away with it. What are you going to do about it? Motherfucker. If I did it. If I did it. If I maybe did it. I did. If maybe I did. I did. Maybe. Maybe. What do you if, think? Maybe if you maybe think Charlie I did it, you're, to do it, you're racist. How about that? Maybe, maybe even if I did do it, my, you're racist. Maybe my imaginary friend Charlie told me to do it. I don't know. Like, Maybe I'll kill like you. View. What? It sounds what? like Sean's view. OJ sounds like Sean's view? Yeah. OJ Simpson sounds like, like Sean's view? Off. You sound like a retard. How about that? Yeah, that's but not. Charo, that ain't how so I sound, many... motherfucker. You, you asshole, monkey looking motherfucker. Suck my asshole. You're you. you supposed to rhyme while you're talking. No, that I ain't doing a Sean's view, you stupid well, cracker black. ass motherfucker. He's black. He's supposed to rap. Why am I supposed no, to rap? Joke, fuck man. Sean's view. Hope he dies like your family, motherfucker. You're a fucking asshole, Bacharo. I'll kill oh, you yeah, like I killed Nicole, you cracker ass motherfucker. Like him. How was that? You said uh, he was rapping because he's black. That's I, I fucked say, up, I dude. I said rhyme. I said rhyme. Mm, bet you did, you honky ass bitch. Dude, listen, we're ushering in a new era. I'll monetize this. All right, a uh, 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 right. era where everybody can get along He's and positive. everybody doesn't feel in like you know. I was getting doesn't along. feel ostracized. Doesn't feel like they're being attacked. Like I want a safe environment for monetize this. And you're oh, really you, bringing I, that safety um, down by attacking, not, making these stereotypes. I mean, that's fucked up, Pacharo. You're not making it safe right now. I feel threatened. Good one, Pacharo. Who are you? Yeah, fucking Tony Khan over there. Yeah, uh, no, my yeah, life was that. endangered on monetize this. <laughs> Dude, so well, my life actually has been in danger on monetize this when I drank shampoo. So you're right. This guy drank shampoo. Did you shit pretty well? Or... I don't think I, I don't think it really affected me that much. I mean, more than silky. It tasted bad. Mm. Oh shit! What time is it? It oh, is. Okay, it's only got... eleven twenty-four. We're not. At midnight, Luke will open See, to monetize can, this channel. Luke can even survive, you know, uh, eating shampoo. Like, the guy is, he's, he's pretty legendary. Like, let's be honest. Like, he can, <clears throat> he can survive eating shampoo. I mean, he could probably survive almost anything at that point. Right? Let's get a game of Madden going. People want to see a game of Madden. Uh, we can try to get a game of Madden going, I guess. Um, let me see if I can get it though, because I don't. I where is it actually? I don't see it. Uh, where is my uh, thing? What is that noise? What the hell is that noise, bro? Um, I don't know if it's uh, if it's working. Let me see if I can figure out why. I got so many plugs back here, it's almost... Oh, boy, I just unplugged it, for sure. Oh, yeah, I just unplugged it, like, for sure. Like, oops. Well, if it was plugged in, why wasn't it popping up on my thing, then? I don't know what's going on. Okay, let's we'll figure this out on the fly here. All right, let's see. Mm. Okay, let's try it. We're gonna try right now. This is crazy. We're live right now on the on the all all day stream, uh, uh, and l we're impromptu pulling up a Madden uh, game. See if we can win one live on the show. Let's see. Um, let's find out. Yeah, I can't believe he wanted it. A safe space or whatever he said. That's that's sad, bro. That's sad. Um. Okay, here we go. 
Oh no, turn the music off. Oh my god, bro. Shut the hell up. That was enraging. Man, the music on Madden is garbage. Like, it is bad. That was terrible. Dude, listening to that made me want to hurt people. Like that was That was rough to listen to. Like, yo, that was... Like, bro, that is the worst shit that I've ever heard, bro. That music sucks. Like, I don't even know what that was. Like, it's it, like hype hip hop or something like that. I don't even know what you call that. Like, hype hip hop? I don't know. Here we go. Come on down. Come on. How about make it ha? Like, like I want to kill myself, bro. How it, black rappers have become as bad as white rappers from the 80s at this point. Like, they've become so lazy now that they are as bad as white rappers from the 90s. Excluding Eminem, they've become as bad as white rappers from the 90s. Black rappers now are as bad as white rappers from the 90s. Like, bro, what has happened? Yo, Big G, I am. There's snow, there's snow everywhere, bro. I actually didn't have money for gas to go to work today so that's why i'm not at work so that's what kind of a loser i am um so you get so here i am so i'm doing a stream as long as i can as long as i want to try to raise as much funds as i can right here on the show and just hang out and there's so much news anyway and whatever it is my daughter's birthday so i do got i am going to go at some point and i'll be on tonight for the rage show live here tonight but uh yeah, so here we are. Feel free to donate, man. Support the stream if you can. We need the help, obviously. But yeah, I I don't know, man. It's uh it is snowing pretty heavily out there. And dude, while we were live on the show, I got an alert that the that the presents I got weren't going to be here till tomorrow and they delayed them. And I was like, "Oh my fucking god." And then all of a sudden they just delivered them. Like so <laughs> they were like Oh, they'll be there at nine, eight, like seven a.m. to ten a.m. And then they're like, "Oh, nope, they won't be there till twelve to one p.m." And I'm like, "Oh man, that sucks." But okay, we're gonna be here. Then they're like, "They won't. You won't get your stuff until tomorrow at six p.m." It was like, "What? What?" And then the guy, literally ten minutes after it said that, some guy delivered them, and I was like, "What?" I almost blew the guy. I mean, I almost blew the guy. Um. It's called retard rap. Give me hummer, hoona, wah, hoona, beater, hoona, saw, finna, killer, shooter, miller, swinger, miller, light, thriller, swipe, everybody, hoo, hear me, light. Like, that's what it sounds like. It's fucking terrible. That, whatever that is, I'm calling it hype rap because it just sounds like you're trying to hype up, like, yo, here we go, here we go, get the gun, get the come, gonna come in your mom, put it in a filthy bomb. Like, it's, that's the worst shit I have ever heard. Kill yourself if you rap like that. Bro, if you rap like that, kill yourself. Like, seriously, bro, that is the worst shit. Um, like, like, I don't know, bro. That must be drip or whatever they call it. Is that drip? Because it sounds like that. Like a slow, you know, delving and dished out bunch of bullshit you know we are set ready to rock for this Madden ultimate team matchup and these guys on your screen ready to rock as well some of the stars of today's game and speaking of the game let's get right to it yo we got the Chiefs, bro. 
We got the Chiefs, brother. This is crazy. All right, let's kick off. I'm kind of doing two things at once here. Who's the top donator? Blizz Kid. OG is the top donator. So let's throw him up there. Oh, get him back. Yo, Blizz Kid, what's up? We're doing everything today. Gaming, Q&A, wrestling news, football talk, movie talk. Seth Rollins could be injured. We're just doing everything. We're doing whatever we want. MLK is rolling in his grave. Yeah, he is. He's rolling in his grave because they're bringing back segregation. Like, the guy fought for against segregation, and we, we brought it back. The, and it's the left wing, the liberal people are bringing it back. That's the crazy thing. They're supposed to be against it. They're bringing it back. The people who supported the slavery originally are bringing back segregation. <laughs> like it's, it's like the parties have gone back to the way they were in the 1700s or whatever you call it. Oh, boy, what a run. Oh, got him. That was getting scary. It's weird how the left and right flip-flop from each other every... It's like every hundred years, the parties flip like the poles on the planet. We're not done yet. It's not an MCL, ACL tear yet. We don't know what it is. We don't know yet what is up with Seth Rollins. But something is up with Seth Rollins. It doesn't seem good. What's up, Leah? Huh? Uh, in women's? Why wouldn't they be in women's? Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, That's them, yeah. What's the smallest size? Convert the size. Size so yeah. That might work. Do the size conversion. Like, do a conversion of kids' sizes versus women's sizes. I think I think a kid's five is a woman's six. I don't know if that's true, but check that. I'm just thinking when I worked it in shoes. Why? They don't have it? Ask her what if she wants to wait. What's it like? Ten days? Oh my god! Oh my god! Hueco Mundo's here. What's up, Hueco? The um, I told you already. What did uh, did you wrap the gifts? Well, then just save them until you got them. Wait, what store has them? Oh. Yeah, those are the I know what she wants. I, all right, so do it like this. Oh, my God, he scored. That's fine. Don't tell her that. That's fine. Don't. Oh wait. What do you mean? So t so you can't get them is the answer unless it's on Amazon. Did you tell her that? So then what's she gonna do? Not get them? But the store doesn't have them. Well, tell her you just called the stores, but you did find them. So make it seem like you found them. Jesus Christ. I want the world. I want the whole world. Wow, you went for two, you fucking cunt. What a piece of shit loser asshole this guy is. You went for two on the first play of the, like, the first drive of the game, bro? All right, it's on, bitch. I'm never quitting this game now. And I am going to, oh, my God, bro. I hate pieces of shit like this. You fucking Kansas City loser piece of shit. I hope Taylor Swift fucking gives AIDS to your whole goddamn team when she sleeps and swallows everybody on the team. You scumbag assholes. You fucking loser piece of shit. Go for two on the first drive. <sighs> Bro.
Oh my god, bro. I almost I was almost gone. I was almost gone right there. I am gonna make this guy swallow it. Gargi does not have a girl. Gargutz doesn't have a girl. Let's not, you know, let's not lie to ourselves here. That's great. That's great. Why is my, where are the plays? That's not even the play I chose, dude. What the fuck is with this game? I can't believe this guy went for two. Oh my god. I can't believe this guy went for two. What up? Hit the like button, guys. Come on, are you serious? Oh my god, bro. I'm getting fucking pissed off. How do you not intercept that after he just intercepted the same like, bro? This fucking game, bro. He don't have a home girl. All he has is homeless people living around him. That's all he's got, Big G. What a bunch of horse shit on that play. This is not good. Although, what is good anymore, you know? My dono's covering up the scoreboard on you? No. Let's go with Dime. Oh. Wow, I waffled him. How did he not lose the ball there? I mean, I too paid that guy. Intercept it. Come on, man. How do you not intercept that? The guy just watched the ball come right over the middle. Like, oh, there it is. Oh, my God, bro. This is retarded right now. This is retarded. He's gonna run it, I think. Nope. Get it! Intercept the ball, man! Turn around and grab it! It's right there! That should have been an interception. Oh my god, bro. Oh my god. Got him. Come on, get him down. Get him down. Third and goal. This is a big goal stand here if we can do it. Ah. Oh. Oh. I want to make him throw it. I don't care what he does else. If he throws a touchdown, whatever. But I want to make him throw it. 
Yeah, sack them, baby. Sack him at the 10. Wow. The Chiefs now going to use the first of their timeouts. So as they talk it over, we step aside. Out is Myers for the Seahawk field goal. For the right hash, and this one just a chippy. He fakes it. And he'll try and throw here on the I saw that coming too, by the way. Yeah, suck it! He gets nothing! He gets nothing! He should have gone for the two-score lead. What an idiot. Oh my god. He opted to go with a scramble, gets two yards, and now it's four. It is certainly becoming rarer by the year to see your franchise guy take a hit like that. The defender couldn't believe he had a shot to light him up. So when you take off and run, you have to make oh. sure you can slide, get out of bounds, anything. Just don't leave yourself open to hits like that. Hey, here we go, Sunday, Sunday. Here we go on four. Smith. Wide open. See you later. Sanders. Oh, I cannot run him. Oh, so close. Big play, though. Big play. Sanders getting wet. Touchdown. All right, well, now let's equal stupid's touchdown. Two-point conversion. Gotcha. Gotcha, tie game, homo. CM Punk. Nice faux hawk. Nice faux hawk, homo. Ever CM Punk? Every time CM Punk calls AJ Styles a racist, just call him a homophobe. Just do the same thing back to him that he does to other people. Fifty-nine seconds left, though. Force him to use his timeouts. Force him to use his timeouts. We might get the ball back. Oh, shit. Wow, he went real out there with that. I'll tell you, I didn't expect that. If he caught that, we're going to cover four now. Because I don't want that to happen. Oh, I was covering that guy, and I missed him. I was hoping to tackle him for a fumble. Fudge. God damn it. I went four fucking deep, too. I did switch it up, though. I might have screwed it up when I switched it to two. Probably what happened. Oh, he missed it. Wow. We got time. He's going to onside kick it? What a fucking... F this guy's a fucking cunt. This guy's a piece of shit. What 
What a loser this guy is. This guy is an absolute loser. Kicks a onside kick. Thanks for giving me awesome field position. I I don't know if Ezekiel Elliott's signing with the Patriots, but but uh, they got pl they probably because they got plenty of cap. They've got they got like tons of money they can spend. So why not spend it? And you got the two running backs you had. Oh, around we go! Oh, the Duke! Oh, the Juke! Look at that move! No, what are you doing? It's supposed to be deep in the end zone. Dude, what the fuck is going on, bro? I was throwing to the back right of the end zone. Why would the ball die right there? Why the fuck would the ball die? Why? Oh, my God, bro. Like, you've got to be kidding me. So stupid, man. I should have thrown the ball away. That was a Mac Jones play and a half. Fuck! He's out of timeouts. What a stupid idiot. Wow, he could have had a touchdown and he screwed up. What a stupid prick. This guy's a moron, bro. I can't let this guy beat me. He's a moron. I'm getting the ball back now. What a stupid person this guy is. He should have had two touchdowns up on me. He's stupid because he wanted to kill the clock. And he's kicking onside kicks like a retard. Bro, I, oh my God, I can't wait to beat this guy. Pricks like this deserve to die. Throw it away. This guy's coming with blitzes. Come with that blitz, bro. Try and set up the quarterback draw here. And he's only going to get a yard from the 20 to the 19. Second and nine. A shotgun snap for Smith. Hey, Bullfrog is a moron. <laughs> Scissor me, Joe! <laughs> Camus to Popo. Malili Malabog Nabata. Boston Maya Lock Mabel Lock. <laughs> I wanna eat AJ Adams like Sinagong. I will stick my long juicy long Anisa in his rectum as he quivers and divers and shivers as I deliver some chicken cry snaggers load in his sp Oh my god. Touchdown Patriots! General Santos with a three dollars! Woo! Well, now the game is tied, and I feel sexy, this stupid moron that I'm playing. Onside kicking, going for two early. Now we're winning by one. How does that taste? Um, thank you for the donation. Was that Colonel Stutters? General Santos. 
General Santos, thank you for the donation. We're, we're only 920 away from the goal. <laughs> Boom! What a shot! See if he runs this. Nope. They go play action. Now Mahomes. Intercepted. Let's go. Jackson picks it off. And wonderful field position is picked up. Jackson was sniffing that the whole way. Watch his eyes. As Jackson sees it the whole way, has to adjust in midair. What a play. Positioning. Read the quarterback all day long. Quarterback didn't see Jackson. Amari Cooper. I've been going to wrestling shows oh, Tony for Khan's over 30 years. Him. Never in all that time have I ever felt until last Sunday that my security, my safety, my life was in danger at a wrestling show. Came to Popo. Malili Malabog Nabata. Bostamea Lock Mabelock. I wanna eat AJ Adams like Sinagong. I will stick my long juicy long Anisa in his rectum as he quiver snaggers shiver snaggers as I deliver some chicken cry snaggers load in his All right, General Santos, thank you for that. Back to the game. Second and goal. Thank you, General Santos. Third and goal. We got to get points here. It doesn't matter what they are, but obviously we want them to be. All right, let's try this play. Let's try this. Let's try this. He won't. Maybe he won't see this coming. Let's try this. Oh, well, I'm gonna have to go. Well, you know what? I think I'm going to go for the touchdown. I'm going to go for the touchdown because even if he gets it back, I can get it back, and I'm still up by one, too. So the – oh, man, yeah, I'm going to go for it. I normally wouldn't. I'd kick the field goal, but I'm going to set up and see what I get. Okay, here we go. Yeah, we got it. Touchdown. How about that? We'll just kick the one. We've come back to take the lead by a touchdown. How about that? Mr. Two-point conversion on the first drive of the game. Triple onside kick loser, idiot. Boom. Gotcha. Oh, Will! Motherfucker, here we go. Everyone knows I'm out the window. Yep, yo, motherfucker. No romance, cause there ain't no chance in my happy pants. Could you perchance? Is that Will Tactics? And leave me here. I'm a bad motherfucker. Ain't got no fear. What the time? What's the time, motherfucker? Time, motherfucker. You put it in a happy rhyme, motherfucker. It's clock o'clock. Bang, bang, tick tock, bug in the sock, oil shock. Two on consignment, one in stock. What's the time, motherfucker? Said Glock o'clock. It's Will! I said Glock o'clock. What up, Will? Hope Seth Rollins is okay. Yeah, he's going to be going for an MRI, it looks like, so they don't really know exactly what's going on. But it's, I mean, we're actually, we're going to show the video in a few minutes. We didn't even play it yet. We got the video. Oh, Will Salkin. What's up, Will? Sorry. It's not Will Tactics. It's Will Salkin. Um, we're, thank you, Will, for the $10, man. $10. Thank you guys so much for the donation, man. Will, uh, yeah, so we're going to play. I think we're going to play the clip of him 
hobbling um, outside the ring or inside the ring during that promo. I love the dick. A little run there by Pacheco, huh? I'm going to play deep here. I feel like after that play, he's going to try to sneak in a deep ball here. I'm going to read the chat in a second. Ooh, I tripped him anyway. Wow, he really uh, sacrificed it there. Thank you, Will. We're gonna, we're gonna. All right, let's let's blitz him. Blitz. Boom. Sacky time. Sack wacky time. Look at that. Oh my God, he just gets run over again. How about this this comeback in this game that we've man managed here? It's been pretty good stuff. Intercepted! Oh my God, in and out of the hands of Crowder. That ball was in the hands of Crowder, and he could not hold on to it. Fourth and 19 from Mahomes here. He called the timeout. He didn't like the matchup and called the timeout. And now we're going to go deep man three. Oh, and he got sacked. Wow. And that's, he's had about enough. Mr. Onside kick, two-point conversion has had enough of Joe Cronin. Sorry, but that was. How about that? What a, what a bitch that guy was. What a bitch he was. That guy was a coward cunt. Oh, going for two in the first drive of the game. Kicking on side kicks right at the beginning of the game. What a scumbag person that guy was. Boy, did that feel good. Boy, did that feel good. What a stupid moron that person was. Unreal. Oh, my God. Oh, that was fun to beat that guy. Well, we've been live now for uh, how long? We've done some stuff on Seth Rollins, some other things. We've been live for three hours. Three hours of a stream that we've been live. And um, we did have a goal, which we didn't come near close to it. And I could keep streaming. I could keep streaming until like all day, I guess, but... Um, I do have Rage tonight. We're going to be live with Rage tonight. We'll see what we do there. Um, should be a good time tonight. So I want to shout out, though, from the beginning, everybody who uh, chimed in today. Shardy Janetti, Bimbo Baggins, Mysterious Black, Colonel Stutters, Aru Shinchu, Blizz Kid with the top donation of the stream. Blizz Kid, thank you. Will Tactics, Prayesh Muhamdar, General Santos and Will. All the big ones. And we're still waiting on the news. I'm just going to check on the news, make sure nothing got like updated or I didn't see like there was something extra that's going on. <clears throat> uh, 
Um, I don't see any update on any more news. The reason why WWE used a different stage and setup. Well, the reason was because that building's so small, the stage doesn't fit in there. We all said this, man. Everybody was like, it's a brand new stage. No, they were using the house show stage for Raw last night because the big stage doesn't fit in there, I believe. Plus, it's snowing out and everything. So we already knew that. That's like a big news story today. We all said this the other night. Like, people are retarded. The regular stage is coming back, I believe. Pretty sure this was just legitimately just because the building is tiny. That building was small, and the big storm and everything else was going on. And, yeah, I don't I don't see any brand-new news on Seth Rollins. I just hope he's okay, man. I hope it's all BS and, and, like, it turns out all negative and he's just got a tweak, you know, and he can take as long as he can to heal. Like, I don't know. It's just, you don't. this is bad timing if it's something bad. I'm really worried about an MCL and an ACL, though. ACL for sure. Although it seems like it's on the lower end of things. So... Joe, it fits. They had the full set there last year. The truck with it just couldn't make it. Oh, okay. Well, yeah, it was the snow. I thought it was that the stage might not fit or the snow, but okay. I am surprised, though. So this, it's just because the snow. That's fine. But no, TXP, thank you for telling me that. I, I didn't know the exact reason. I, I guessed which one it was, but I didn't think that, uh, you know. I'ma kill it, I'ma feel it, I'ma dig it, up and kill it, I'ma dig up Eminem's mom, I'ma put my cum in a bomb, I'ma gonna go and give a psalm, I'ma gonna break her arm, I'ma gonna kill his aunt, his dad, his mother, his mother, here we go, I like that, here we go, swing that, sing that, whack that, got by a gun and shoot that, cap that, cap that, ass back, now you dead back, dead be dead, end up dead, dead, Dad in the ground, yeah, you know where you have found your money, 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 get that money, 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 money. This is the song that's in Madden 24, makes me wanna stab myself even more. Yo, hit me, go it, holla, holla, gonna become another good scholar. Shoot him up, shoot him up, shoot him up, bought that gun, son, here I go, boom, some fun, gonna shoot someone in the gun, yeah, boom, there it goes, it off, cops coming, five stars. GTA, now you're dead, you are, uh, yo, bullet to your head, hummer, comma, summer, hummer, oh, summer, Ben Laden, hummer, like, that's what that, literally what, to me, that's what the music on Madden sounds like, I'm like, yo, kill me, that's what it sounds like, that, it just sounds like the dumbest crap I've ever heard, that, the Madden 90, Madden 24 music, maybe I just got the bad soundtrack or something, but bro, what I was listening to, I wanted to, like, I, if I had to listen to that for any more time, I would slice myself. Joe, they're going to say the news at 4 p.m. The news about Seth Rollins, they're actually making like an announcement on the time. That's not good. The fact that they're going to make an announcement during a certain time, that doesn't sound good at all to me. Oh, boy. That is not good to me. That's not good. Well, stay tuned. More to come. Tonight, we're live with Rage here on the Joe Cronin Show, and we'll continue trying to uh, raise the funds for the show and also to entertain everybody. Big G, Joshua Munn. What up? King Hueco Mundo and uh, everybody else. Uh, Joe Bishop. We'll see you guys tonight. Thanks for being here. I shouldn't even be here today, but I am. I'm home. <laughs>